Welcome back. Wait, let me get my my game open. I am ready. Hope you're having a good day, by the way. Who's ready to sim? <laughs> I'm so ex- Okay, wait, 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 let me make sure I have my- Okay, we're set up. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. Oh, have you had a good day though today, by the way, everyone. Welcome back. Oh, it's your mom's birthday? Well, hey. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna play the Pots Legacy today. So, it should be fun. It's been a couple weeks since we got to play because there's been so much going on, like, Animal Crossing Wait Wise and the charity event. Um, we've been doing a bunch of, like, special streams, you know? <laughs> and not, like, normal streams like the Potts family. So, um, we've been playing in a little bit. But we're back. So, anyway, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you liked my restaurant in Animal Crossing today. I thought it turned out cute. Um, I was excited about it. So... 23 months, Akiko, thank you for the resub. Also, Emily and Rachel and, and Tumbles, thank you for the subs, too. Um, what even is a normal stream? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> Sunny, Rye, thank you for the subs. 24 months, Rye, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, you got Pietro on your Paradise Planning Island. I got Coco on mine earlier. I, was, I haven't I haven't done her house, so hopefully she doesn't, like, disappear. But when I, I went back onto my game to make the thumbnail for today's video, um, and Coco was there, and I was like, ooh. But I, obviously I couldn't, I didn't have time to play, because I was busy, but um, it was kind of fun. So, <laughs> Sarah, Annie, uh, Faria, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, Peyton, too, thank you so much. Okay, so if you missed it, um, we haven't played in a couple weeks, like I was saying, because uh, we've had a bunch of stuff going on. Um, but we are currently playing the Potts family. This is my legacy challenge. Um, okay, bye, Hope. <laughs> um, we're currently playing with my Potts family. I want to go back up to... Okay, Piper was the first one. Hopefully these all load. So we are, we are many, many, many generations in, as you can see. Um, the babies down here are Gen 4, technically. Um, I mean, Gen 8, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking how there's four of them. Gen, obviously not Gen 4. Gen 8, there's four of them. Um, but we're like sort of on the eighth generation, um, which is kind of cool. So this Sim is my Gen 7 Sim. This is her dead husband. Um, and then these are their twins. <laughs> so uh, there's the uh, there's the update. <laughs> the baby's names are Poppy and, and Rose. Um, her name is Holly and his name is Patrick, but you know, he's dead, so. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ghoul Shoe, Miss Whitehead, Dan, uh, Knit Cat, I'm, I'm a Snake, uh, Pancakes Carry, Hopeless Cat, thank you for the subs, Tori as well, um, Annie with the sub, Kirby with the five gifted subs, thank you so much. It's your first stream? Well, hey, welcome back. It's nice to see you. Um, good to see you live. Is he getting Ambrosia? No. We talked about it, um, but no. We previously spent a long time making Ambrosia to bring Holly's uh, brother back to life because Holly's brother was also dead. And we brought Holly's brother back to life with, with the Ambrosia, but personally I think Patrick is more exciting when he's dead. So, yeah, um, Taylor's uh, Red re-recordings come out tonight at midnight. It's very exciting. Um, I made a video for it tomorrow. <laughs> I made a video building a red house in The Sims that I'm gonna post tomorrow on YouTube. Um, I recorded it today, so. <laughs> um, very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> uh, Angel, Vane, Kajina, Astra, Elizabeth, Plumbob, Mythical, Jessica, Kirby, uh, Brezzy, Gates, Annie, 13 Flags, Angel, thank you for the subs, Elizabeth too. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um, this is this is almost Gen 8, Bella, we were just saying. So the, the adult sim right here in front of me is Gen 7 and her kids are Gen 8. If that helps. Um, we've been playing for a while. <laughs> more exciting when he's dead. Yeah, I feel that way about all my sims, to be honest. They're just more fun when they're dead. So. <laughs> Emma, never ending. Bohemian Life, Secret Blue, Cast. Thank you all for the subs, too. Um, but anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome back. And Sadgirl, Ash, the 24 months. Oh, my goodness. Why Red House? Um, Risa, so tomorrow... Um, well, I guess tonight, you know, when the clock strikes tomorrow, um, Gen 9 today. Oh, Bestie, no. No? These Sims are Gen 8. 
You think I'm gonna get them grown up and having a kid today? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think that I think that might be taking a little bit too long for that one. Um, but tomorrow, tonight, um, Taylor Swift's re-recording of her album Red comes out. Um, Taylor Swift is this, uh, this just getting started indie artist. Um, she's really talented though, um, really underrated. If you've never heard of her music, really check it out. Um, <laughs> why is she recording it? You know, Lucy, maybe, maybe you should like look up Taylor Swift. <laughs> I mean this in like the nicest way possible. It might help to like, to get some backstory on that one, on why she's going to re-record all of her music. Um, it's so that she can own it because her masters got sold and she to a person that is bad and so she wants to own her own music and so she's re-recording them. Um, but it might help to look up some backstory on that one. It's a pop culture moment, you know? <laughs> um, Alyssa, Jordy, Phoebes, Ray, Paulina, Chelsea, Rachel, Decom, thank you, uh, Demon, all the subs, Tabitha, all the gifted subs, Blueberry, Chelsea with a tier two 14 months. Thank you all so much. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited, so. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Why is that so squeaky? Thought she was doing it for fun? No, <laughs> I'm sure she's enjoying it, but um, she didn't just up and decide to re-record all of her albums. Um, it's because she doesn't own her own masters. Um, so she's re-recording them to devalue her, her previous masters, her previous music, because a bad person owns them, so. Um, <laughs> Krista, Maid, Cheddar, Beth, Jessica, thank you for the bits and stuff. Congrats on getting married yesterday, Jessica. That is huge. Congratulations. Um, and Sting, congrats on getting first for girls weightlifting in Florida. That is huge too. Obs, thank you for the sub gift as well. Thanks everybody. Um, I'm trying so hard not to miss things. <laughs> um, is one of the twins getting Eugene's old room? Well, Right now, I really like how their room looks, how I've set it up for them to share, so I don't think so. Um, but maybe when they're teens, it's kind of what I was thinking. I, I was really liking how their room was decorated though, so I don't think I'm gonna move them into Eugene's room just yet. Um, but they're, they're kind of close to being teens. They're two days until they become a teenager. Um, <laughs> Honey's Garden, I don't really want to sit here and explain <laughs> Taylor Swift to everybody. I kind of want to play The Sims. There's not a copyright issue. So, um, with, with a lot of music, there's two copyrights involved, right? There's the, there's like the composition copyright. And so because Taylor Swift writes all of her own music, she owns the composition copyright, right? Like she wrote the song, she owns the writing of the song. And then there's the master's copyright, which is like the, the recording, the like main, the recording of the song, the one that gets released and put on the radio and it's on the album and all that. There are two different copyrights. She owns the copyright to her compositions, so she can re-record them. It's her music, she can sing it, you know? Um, but the original, the masters, she doesn't own that. The record label owns that and then they sold it, right? So she can re-record all, all she wants, her songs, she wrote them. But the original masters, she doesn't own. Does that make sense? Um, so. <laughs> Uh, Vane, Jules, Soro, Alexis, Amy, Morty, Elizabeth, Crypton, um, Mary, Alex, Jordy, thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, confusing. Copyright law is confusing. <laughs> um, can I upload the build? What, this house? It's on the gallery already, Rian, and I, I built this like a month ago or so. Um, so she's doing it for money, lol. Well, I feel like your tone is bad. I don't think that it's wrong to do anything for money, <laughs> first of all. Um, but... You also have to remember that this is like a person's life's work, right? Like this is since she was a teenager, she has been making music and now someone else that is a bad person owns all of her music. I think that that would be really upsetting, right? Um, so you can imagine her wanting to take back ownership of her things. So what she's doing is she's intentionally devaluing the old ones by making new ones and being like, forget that stuff, here's Taylor's version. Um, but I don't think that it's wrong to do anything for money. <laughs> like, she's a musician. She makes music for money. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, even if that is her intention, I... <laughs> that is how money works, <laughs> so... Um, but anyway. <laughs> 
Uh, hi, Wall, Kennedy, Emily, Kelsey, Zane, those are the words, Obs, Jules, thank you all for the subs and bits too. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she created the art, right? Like, it's her music. She's, she deserves to be able to own it. I think that, um, obviously it's a very bizarre situation that none of us will ever find ourselves in, but I think you can empathize a little bit with wanting to own your own stuff, right? Um, like, this is music that she wrote when she was, like, literally a teenager, right? I mean, can you imagine, like, losing the rights to, like, that's horrible. <laughs> it's like a diary almost, you know? Um, but, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angry Her, Pabrad, thank you for the subs, both you too. Um, okay, so let's sim instead of talking about copyright. <laughs> um, all I wanted to do was be excited about her music coming out. <laughs> um, but, anyway. <laughs> let's see. Um, Oh, in the basement is just a library. I know you're gonna ask, you're gonna be like, what's in the basement? Because it always happens, it's just a library. Um, as far as everyone's work schedule, you don't have work today. You don't have work today. I might make the kids, um, oh good. I was gonna say have them work on their projects, but I've already got one. So that works out, that's how we'll begin. That is how we'll begin. Jordy, Terrible Toad, um, Happy Panda, thank you all for the sub gifts and stuff. Uh, Amanda too, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so who's the heir? Well, one of the kids, we haven't decided yet, we're gonna- I think people forget that, um, they're children. <laughs> uh, I personally find it very hard to decide who the heir will be when you don't know what their traits are. Um, so I'm gonna wait until they age up into teens. They're almost teens, just about two days, they're both twins. Um, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer and decide when they're teens, cause then you can actually see their traits and stuff, you know? Um, my sink's broken but backwards. Well, upstairs? What are you talking about? Oh, this one. I was- I couldn't see it from this side. Yeah, that's um- This sink does that, it sprays out the back of it. So. Um. Don't mock us, we pay your bills. Charlie, when did I mock you? <laughs> When did I mock any of you? What are you talking about, bestie? Um... <laughs> what does that mean? Um... <laughs> Bandits, Sherry, Katie, Vampy, Delise, Amanda, 16th Rose, thank you all for the subs. <laughs> when was I mocking anyone? <laughs> Personally, I don't recall. Um... Okay. I'm gonna do my homework. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, well, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Stop, 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 stop. Um, Teeny, thank you for the four months. Joni, thank you for the 13 months. And listen, Turtle, thank you for the four months again. Bruin with the 46 months. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm gonna serve up some salad. I don't know. Um, I don't know. For the record, you guys, just so you know, in the future, because I saw someone say their sub didn't work, um, it was Teeny. Teeny, your sub did work. <laughs> it's not that it didn't play the first time. Um, I assume what happened was, because it's a Prime resub, when you resub with Prime, it doesn't play an alert straight away. Um, it wants to give you a chance to play the alert yourself. So when you first resub, um, you'll be like, what, it didn't go up in chat? And then you're like, oh, because it's a resub, so when I refresh, I can type a message and play it. It's just giving you a chance to get a message instead of just sending something. So, um, that's how it works. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, don't realize and think that, like, their sub didn't work or I missed it. And it's like, no, I didn't miss it, it just didn't play. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, don't worry. Um, Maya, Beth, CME, thank you all for the subs, too. Um, and Ick, thank you for the Prime sub as well. Okay. Um, I think for now, the kids are all sad. It's a disaster. You did your homework. Maybe you could pee. I can't wait till they grow up. Genuinely cannot wait till they grow up. <laughs> Georgie, thank you for the six months, and Royalty, thank you for the 20 months as well. 
Um, we didn't finish the plant house yet climbing the plant house yet climbing mouse. We have um two builds I've half finished this week <laughs> that we need to finish still. Um, so we're probably gonna play catch up this weekend and, and finish some of the builds a little bit, which will be fun. Um, I'm going to put the generation in the stream title so that people, well, they're still going to ask. Um, but, you know, <laughs> we'll try. We'll do our best. We're on Gen 7. The adults in the household are Gen 7, so the kids are the 8th generation. Um, they're, they're still going to ask, though. <laughs> Dramatic Chloe, Gloria, thank you for the 49 months. And Momo, thank you for the bids, too. Um... <laughs> Envy, thank you for the stuff too, okay. Um, you know, no matter what you put in the title, people will still ask. Because sometimes, depending on where they're watching, it's hard to see, which is valid. Um, but, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hey, Shams, I'm sorry, I hope you feel better soon. Um, and Terry, thank you for the bits. No, that's not the ghost brother, Shannon, that's my ghost husband. I added him to my household. Um, this is my Sim, this is her ghost husband, these are their twins. Um, and this is my cat, Redacted, and my other cat, Carrie. Oh my god! Hmm. Hmm. It appears Redacted is in the roof. So... It's called Redacted because I had previously named the cat Dumbo because it's got big ears in an endearing way based off, you know, the elephant. Um, and then when I tried to upload the household to the gallery, it said that I couldn't because I had an offensive name in my household. So I changed it to Redacted. So. <laughs> so I with two months, uh... Scoob, thank you for the sub too. Thanks, everybody. All right. Redacted, you're still in the roof? How do I get Redacted out of the roof? Can you call the cat to you? The cat's... What do I do? Oh, I'll travel with them somewhere. Okay, I'll bring the cat somewhere out of the household and then come back. That's a good idea. I'll go, let's go to the library. Come on, little guy. Nope, wrong cat. <laughs> um, awkward fangirl, Emma, thank you for the subs, both you two. Um, anyway, I'm very excited. Um, yeah, Terry, I mean, I guess people, you know, calling someone dumb is an insult, but Dumbo is a, Dumbo is an endearing term based off of the elephant. Well, that's how I meant it as at least. I got, I got redacted out the wall. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I fixed it. <laughs> um, come on home, let's go. Try again, take two. Take two. I did my best. Luke, hey, thank you for the six months as well. Um, <laughs> and Annie, thank you for the 13 months. Who's the heir now? We don't know who the heir, Carla, the, you mean like of the babies? The, the kids? We've got two kids in our household. Um, we haven't picked an heir yet. Um, this heir is Holly. Remember, her and her twin brother had the battle to the death to see who would be the heir. He died, he wasn't the heir. She lived, she was the heir. Then I spent a long time trying to get him Ambrosia to bring him back to life. Then her husband died, so now her husband's a ghost in my household. Her dead brother's back to life and married and has a kid. And now I have twins. It's really very simple. <laughs> it's really very, very simple. I'll show you the family tree again, besties, but I did just open it, so keep that in mind. I, if I ever feel like I'm, if it seems like I'm ignoring your um, request to the family tree, it's probably because I just showed it like 10 minutes ago, and I feel bad for people in chat that were here the whole time. Although I know you just got here, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but this is the family tree, so. <laughs> Michaela, Leah, thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the, um, the simple situation. No, she's only 4.2. She, or she's only 4.1, not a 4.3 or 4.2. She, okay, let me give some backstory while I have, um, her take a shower. So basically, she was Holly 4.0 because she was the fourth Holly of the family. Um, and then, it was, because it was funny, you know, that she was the fourth Holly. And then... 
Um, she almost died the day she aged up from a teen into a young adult. Because you know how teens in The Sims have mood swings? Um, she almost died <laughs> from a mood swing. She was, like, super embarrassed. Um, so she just about died from it. Um, you know, literally died. She was dead on the floor. The Grim Reaper came, and then I pleaded for her so she wouldn't die. And then, luckily, the Grim Reaper said, okay, fine, you could have her back. So she didn't die, but she... She died. Like, dead on the floor, Grim Reaper's here, she was dead. Um, but I saved her, because the Grim Reaper accepted my pleads for her life. Um, and now she's Holly 4.1. <laughs> oh, Maisie, Zoe, honey, thank you for the subs, all of you, too. Um, okay. Just a normal day in The Sims. Yep. Oh, you're fine, Abby, don't worry. It's small, the print is very small. It's not- what are you doing? What are you doing? She's just feeding him. Eugene is alive, by the way. The dead sim in my household is my husband. Um. Just take the fish and stop. I need to take care of my plants. Okay. Weed the area. I have some more death flowers again. That's very exciting. <laughs> that is a big moment. Um. That- this is big. The husband was traded for Eugene. That's not quite what happened, but we can pretend it is. Because that's kind of funny. <laughs> you know what? I like I like that. I think that's funny. I'm going to say that's what happened. We traded the husband for Eugene. <laughs> Nicole, Doobie, Macy, Zinko, thank you all for the subs, too. Um... <laughs> You haven't used the Get Famous Pond? Listen, I think you're fine. The Get Famous Pond is real weird. Nothing wrong with not using it. Uh, no, if the- if the mom dies, um, as long as there's an adult in the household, the kids would be fine. The question was, like, if the mom dies, could the ghost dad take care of the kids? And yeah, as long- even if the only adult in the household is a ghost, as long as there's an adult in the household, it would be fine. Or a teen. It'd be fine if there was a teen as well. Um... Okay. Hurry up and clean. Hurry up and clean up. Wait, did I get leftover? I'm trying to clean out the spoiled food. Do I keep not clicking it? Clean out the spoiled food. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, and Delise, thank you for the bits too. Uh, Blumbus, thank you for the 15 months. Okay. Yeah, I think Ghosts in the Sims are very funny as well. I am- I am with you on that one. Maybe I'll talk to my children for a second. Cause my social need is so low. Hmm, maybe I should interact with my kids. <laughs> hmm. Nintendo advertised a treasure island on Twitter? Wait, really? Hang on. Sorry to check Twitter in the middle of stream, but um... Prove it. Miv. Link. What? The rat? No! After a good long life filled with treats and scritches, Ratsley has succumbed to old age and passed away? Oh. It's okay, I'm getting a new one. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I'm getting rat another second rat, don't worry. Ratsley 2. It's only the second one so far in this household. We're actually doing okay for ourselves as far as rats go. I've not- I've not had the loss of many rats. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's not Ratsley 5 or 6. It's more- if we're counting all the Ratsleys I've ever had... It's like Ratsley 15. So... Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's okay, so Nintendo tweeted about how, um, you can get Twitch on the Nintendo eShop now. Um, and in the screenshot that they posted, um, it's like a screenshot of people that are live playing Animal Crossing and one of them is a treasure island. <laughs> um, Desert Moody, thank you for the subs, that's so funny. Um, 
You feel like you missed so much? We have a rat and Eugenia's gone and her husband is dead? Oh, the husband's always been dead, Dr. Bobby. Since the babies were not even born yet. Like, she was pregnant when the husband died. Um, he wasn't always in the household, though. After Eugene was brought back to life and moved out, um, I, I put the husband in my household again so I could have another ghost. Um, so, <laughs> you didn't really miss that much. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that complicated. Just vibe. Let's just let's just play with the, the current Sims in the household. Dido was murdered. Besties, I'm gonna answer one more question and then we gotta move on. Of course he was murdered. Come on, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Mickey, thank you for the bits. Um <laughs> Of course he was murdered. Do you know what Let's Play we're playing right now? <laughs> Come on. I have a pond full of sharks. <laughs> and yes, the murderer is me. Come on. <laughs> All right, if the game would simply hurry up. Come on. Why did you wake up? So you could pee? Okay, go back to sleep though. Don't really want to deal with this right now. What is that light? Oh my god. <laughs> it's almost a meme at this point. I swear, every time I play this save, like 500 people, I'm not even exaggerating, maybe like 50 people, are like, oh my gosh, what is that light? It's so funny. People are obsessed with this thing. This light is from um, the deluxe version of The Sims. I also did not know it existed until Santa gave it to me for Christmas. It's called the Let There Be Light Laser Show. Um, it's quite cool. It does fun things like that. Um, but yeah, I, I only got it because um, I was given it by Santa. <laughs> it, gets, it gets brought up a lot though. <laughs> People ask about that all the time. That's like the most frequently asked question at, out of all of them in the, in the Twitch chat for this Let's Play, so. Um, but yeah, that item has been out since the game came out. Um, I also just, I never use it either, because I kind of forget it exists, but, um, then Santa gave it to me, so. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, ghosty, we're going to the vet. We got Rudolph over here. <sighs> Let's go. I actually might have some wellness treats, but I kind of want to go to the vet, so maybe I'll do it now. <laughs> Plus, um, thank you for the prime sub. Do I still play the Bell family? Uh, Kat, the Bell family's on my YouTube channel. So yes, um, I last posted a video with them two days ago. <laughs> um, I do still play with them, I never stopped. That's that's on my YouTube channel though, this is on my Twitch channel, they're different. Um, okay, I will be taking the, the cat to the vet now, please. And thank you. <laughs> Like that family? I like that family too. I'm having a lot of fun with them. That's that's my YouTube Let's Play. It's different. <laughs> um, I have done a run of the vet. I did a run of the vet ages ago. Um, the problem is that a lot of my older builds are kind of hard to find on the gallery. Because the gallery doesn't load anything from a long ago. So, I too have a hard time finding my own renovations of the builds. <laughs> so... Um... It's very sad that the gallery is like this. Okay, come on, treat the cat, please. That's not my cat. Oh, this is my cat. I thought the other blue animal was my cat. This, <laughs> they both, it's, apparently it's going all around because two of them had it. Whoops. Whoops. Why don't I play in my Simsy save? Cyborg, when I made this Sims household, um, it was about six months ago, and I didn't know I was gonna play in it for this long. So that's why. And now it's too late, and we're not in the Simsy save. <laughs> um, there's your answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on going to Gen 10, yeah, sugar. That is my plan. Um, okay, I'm going back home now that my cat is fixed. Um, Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Chloe. That's really great news. Um, what a relief, you know? Um, I am very glad. 
You like the cone? I know. <laughs> they do look cute like that. I like, I like pets in The Sims 4. I think pets is really well done in The Sims 4. So, um, where'd I get my sweater? Whew, I bought this when I was in high school. It's from American Eagle, but I bought it like, in like 2016 probably, maybe 2015. I've had this sweater for a long time. Um, so I, they probably don't still have it. <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you. <laughs> um, this, this is an old one. Vintage, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had this for a while, so I don't think they still sell it. Um, I don't think, no, I'm, I'm pretty certain they don't still have it. It's from 2016, besties, not the 80s. I know, come on! <laughs> oh boy. You're playing chess in the cold? How are the kids doing? Are you ready for school? You'll probably be fine. Oh, it's a Sunday. Oh, never mind. You won't go to school. Forget it. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> um, Babs, thank you for the bits too. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. What happened to Gerald? The Gerald in this household? Oh, Patrick. Did you eat meat by accident? Well, why did you get Eggs Benedict out of the fridge if you're a vegetarian, Patrick? Oh my god. Um, Gerald, the sim in this family, is from a while ago. <laughs> um, so if you're asking where Gerald is, you mean... This Gerald? Because... Whew. That was, um, <laughs> he's big dead. Yeah, he's dead dead, actually. That, that was, in fact, a while ago. <laughs> he's out in the front yard, yeah. You mean Eugene? Oh, my Sim's brother? He's, he's alive and well, living with his, with his wife. Um, Gerald, Gerald was brought back to life and moved out. I mean, Eugene. God, it's all very confusing. This is why, at this point, Really, we should just stop talking about the old generations. Because it doesn't have to be this confusing for people. We could just talk about the current Sims and no one would be confused. But instead, we're talking about things that happened like five months ago. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? You know, like, if we just ignored it. <laughs> and talked about the current Sims instead of the dead, dead ones. It would be a lot less confusing. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna have the kids go to play at the park today. I feel like it would be nice if we, um, tried to make some friends or something, you know? We don't really have any of those. Where is Gerald? Forever in our hearts. Also, Sophie and Sarah and Stardew and Mixie, thank you all for the subs. Um, <laughs> you're the viewer who made Patrick and I'm behind on your streams, so I'm just now finding out that you killed my son. Mm. He's fine, though. He's very happy. And he might be dead, but he's still here. Killed is such a strong word. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I killed him. I just pushed him into a pond full of sharks. I, I can't be held accountable for that. Um. <laughs> it wasn't me who killed him. It was the sharks. You see, it was, it, um. Anyway, Marissa, thank you for 28 months. <laughs> Technically, you know what? You know what? It's EA's fault. Because they're the ones that made the stupid pond. Okay? All I did was buy it and stock it with murderous beasts. I didn't, I didn't make the pond. Caleb merely suggested that he jump into the pond of sharks. He, exactly. He, he didn't have to listen to me. 
If you didn't want to get eaten by sharks, well, have you tried not going in with the sharks? You ever thought about that? Patrick? I almost called him Chester. His name's not even close to Chester. Why was Chester the first thing that came to mind? <laughs> Who's Chester? <laughs> I never had a sim named Chester. <laughs> Who's Chester? Should I name a sim Chester? Should we have a kid named Chester soon? Chester? Could you imagine if this kid's name was Chester? Oh, that would have been hilarious. Out of, like, if I just hovered over him and he just happened to be called Chester. Oh, wait, they're siblings! Oh, that's so cute! They're playing together on the swings! Oh. <laughs> this is really what people should assume will happen if they make Sims for you. Yeah, let's be real, okay? It is an honor to be murdered by Lil Simsy. <laughs> Wait. Wait, they have the same first name too. They got the same name? Like the complete same name? What is this, the Florgan challenge? I think it is. I think that I think the townies are playing the Florgan challenge. Uh-oh. Oh, Eco Innovator. That's a nice aspiration. Well, nice to meet you all. <laughs> I won't forget your name now. That helps. I'm real bad with remembering townies' names. I just called my own husband Chester. And his name is Patrick. So, like, if I can't remember my own sims in my household's names, how am I supposed to remember the townies' names? You sent me home? <sighs> Could you catalog the tractor from today? Yeah, Hope, I can- I can let you catalog it. Maybe- maybe tonight when I'm playing Animal Crossing off-stream, we can, like, hang out. You can hold my tractor. It'll be great. <laughs> Hope, you can hold my tractor, too, if you want. I mean, wait, Chibi, wait. I already said Hope could hold my tractor. <laughs> I invited Hope twice. <laughs> Sorry about Dan. And- and the screaming. <laughs> Gwen, thank you for the 34 months! Terry, thank you for the prime sub! And Vic, thank you for the 7 months, too! You just finished your last listen-through of Red and almost cried in the school hallway. Happy Red Day tomorrow! Are you gonna stay up to listen to it tonight, Gwen? Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to, because I'm not the best at staying up late. So, I don't- Huntley? Oh my gosh, that was my, like, my first main Sims 4 Legacy family. That was their last name. Oh my gosh. Should I, should I have my Sim date this one? I feel like we have to. At least we have to be friends with her. We have to be friends with her. I think it's a sign, too. <laughs> also, their family is cute, so it works. <laughs> Lassa, thank you for the 15 months! <laughs> uh, Spellcat Fix, thank you for the subs, both you, too. Um, comes out at 5 a.m. and I'm staying, stay up, staying up because I have school. Well, at that point, when it comes out at 5 a.m., you're better off waking up for it than staying up for it when you have school. At least in my opinion. Because, like... You're gonna be up in a few hours for school anyway, so wouldn't it be better to wake up at 5 than stay up till 5? I think you should wake up early for it, though. Go to bed, like, now. <laughs> and then wake up at 5. 
There you go. What's red? Um, Taylor Swift's album Red. She's releasing the re-recordings today. Uh, well, tomorrow, but tonight at midnight. So, um, or if you're in the UK, 5 a.m. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I can stay up for it, though. I don't know. I'm so weak. Alright, I need this sim to be friends with me. Enthuse about candy. Brighten day. Talk about toys. Talk about the sunny weather. Make a silly face. Brighten day. Uh, usually it's 12 Eastern time, Jay, that things come out. Um, so I assume it's midnight Eastern time. That person said it's 5 a.m. in the UK, which would be midnight Eastern time. Um, Dizzy, Liv, Amy, Lord, thank you all for the subs, too. Um, stay on to watch Critical Role anyway. Well, there you go, Brooke. <laughs> See? Problem solved. Um, okay. Tell a goofy story. Get to know. Come on. Always thought most albums were regional time releases. I don't know. I feel like a lot of music comes out at midnight Eastern time. Um, and usually, like, they'll drop for the whole U.S. at midnight. It might be different in different countries, but I don't know why they release it early in different countries when it's music, because then it's going to leak. Um, so. But it makes sense. I guess hope with that, it makes sense, because, like, it's the U.K., right? Like, they're British, so maybe that's why. Um, I don't know. Why are all the toilets pranked? Every single one? Who did this? You made Rice Krispies for your listening party tonight with red sprinkles? Oh, wait, I've got, I have, um, marshmallows. Because when I did the baking stream a couple weeks ago, I bought some vegan marshmallows just in case I wanted to use them. Um, and I still have them. So I could make Rice Krispies. Ooh. You're from the Netherlands, what is Eastern or Pacific or any other time? Well, Eastern time is the time zone of the East Coast of the US, like New York and, you know, Florida and all that. If you, if you need help with a time zone converter, you can always Google that. It'll help it help you so you can remember easier. Um, it might make more sense to look it up compared to you specifically. Um, oh, hope. What if you just ate some? Uh, Karen, there's gelatin in marshmallows, so they're not even vegetarian. Marshmallows have gelatin, which is made out of, like, animal bones. Lots of things have gelatin in them, um, but most regular marshmallows have gelatin in it, so. Um, just a few. Yeah, blame it on the cat. It was ma it was maybe, maybe ate the, the pumpkin bars. It was her. <laughs> it was definitely her, not me. <laughs> what are you calling Molly for? <laughs> I think Dan just left, um, or just let Snap into his room. I heard the door open. <laughs> do your, does your cat do this? As soon as there is a closed door, they're like, oh yeah, I'm going in there. <laughs> and they make demands to enter the closed door only when the door is closed. As soon as it's closed, though, it's like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Kingsley, thank you for the sub and the sub gift. Sarah with the sub gift. Floral, Gypsy, Dizzy, uh, Livia, Livy, two Livies. Thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, and they're like, what are you hiding? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come take a shower. Maybe you could take a shower, too. Oh, what are you cooking? Oh, we're grilling? Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then once it's open, they walk away. Uh-huh. <laughs> you open it, and they're like, oh, never mind. It's just a closet. Just had to make sure, though. <laughs> just had to be sure, okay, that I wasn't missing out on anything exciting. All right, I'm gonna come fill this up. Is the food ready? Yuck. Is that Franks and beans? 
It's camper stew. Might as well be franks and beans. Um, Kingsley, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, cats have a lack of object permanence when the doors open because once they're closed, they forgot. Oh yeah, you know you. I know. <laughs> My cat refuses, absolutely refuses to step on blankets. She's fine with like the blanket on the bed. The bed she understands. But whenever I'm sitting on the couch with a blanket on my lap, she refuses to step on it. She will step on my chest and like on my shoulders. She will not step on the blanket. She doesn't understand that the blanket is fine and that you can step on it. I think she like doesn't know what's under it. So she's like, is it safe to step on? So she'll step anywhere else but the blanket. And then we have to like move it so we can show her like, hey, don't worry, like you can come here. <laughs> but I think she's worried it's gonna be like hollow underneath. Yeah, exactly. So she like doesn't step on the blanket. She won't do it <laughs> Rummy and hey, thank you for the three months. Um, also prudence and mythical. Thank you for the subs, too um, but Yeah, she's scared of the blanket on the couch. She doesn't get it. It's it's very confusing to her Um yeah, hope I okay. So knowing that your cat does the same thing, I it's it's definitely not like a texture thing. At least for Snap, it's that she doesn't understand that she can walk on it. I think she's just worried about what's gonna be under it. Um, but it's kind of funny because <laughs> I literally I'll have the blanket like up on my lap and then I'll like pull it down a little bit. And I'll be like, Snappy, look, you can step here. It's fine. <laughs> she's like stepping on my chest trying to get over. <laughs> Yeah, like how some horses won't walk through puddles because they don't know how deep they are. Exactly. That may, yeah. Similar thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Um, she doesn't know where my legs are. She doesn't know what's safe. Kingsley, thank you for the gifted subs again. Thank you so much. Um, your cat steps on your shins. Yeah. Yeah. Does your dog do that, too, Sarah? That's so funny. No! Ah! Sorry, I almost had her eat the cake. That really scared me. <laughs> Hey, Tara, thank you for the 16 months. Um, your cats are fearless. My parents' cats are kind of fearless, but Snappy is not. My parents' cats are funny. They sit on top of the kitchen cabinets a lot. They, like, jump on the fridge, like, to the counter, to the fridge, to the cabinet, and they sit up on the cabinet a lot. So you walk in, and you'll be like, oh, hi, Lemon. How's it going up there? <laughs> he just sits on the cabinet. Um, it's kind of funny, though. Does your cat sit on the fridge, too? That's so funny. Um, okay. I think... Do you have work tomorrow? Finally. Oh, my goodness. Do any of these need water or anything? Maybe I'll analyze them. How am I doing? I need to grow 10 excellent plants and achieve level 10 in the gardening skill. Ugh. Um, all oh, really revenge toast. It's funny dogs and their little quirks and like what they're scared of. One of my parents' dogs doesn't like to walk out of the neighborhood. Like he'll, he'll be, he'll be fine walking around the neighborhood and he's fine if you like drive him to the park or whatever, but he does not like to go on a walk on, on the road. Like as soon as there's like the busier road where there's more cars, you know, does not want out there. He like will not walk past <laughs> the, like the safe zone of the neighborhood, you know? <laughs> Um, which is kind of funny. He's a really weird, goofy little dog. He's the biggest one as well. And he's goofy. <laughs> he's scared of all sorts of things. This one time, um, I caught him crying over my sister's bunnies. Like, he was sitting there next to them crying because he was scared of them. It's a rabbit. You are a Rottweiler. Like... <laughs> you really need to calm down. <laughs> You're like this big, literally. <laughs> um, Anita, Clocky, thank you for the subs. 47 months, Clocky. Also, Chelsea just donated $20 to Able Gamers. I've got the thing open still. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, he's a big baby. Big, big, big baby. Kingsley, thanks for sending yourself through April. Um, thank you so much. Um, yeah, big dogs, big babies. <laughs> Uh, I mean, rabbits can kill a sim. That's true. You know, you make a really good point there. He probably heard about that and he was like, whoa. 
Whoa. Um, oh, can you come hang out with this cat? Because I don't want her to be sad. Give treat. Pet. <laughs> okay. Um, are you going to take care of the poor little cats? Maybe? Can you take the cone off yet? Oh, good. Remove the cone. You're saved, little guy. See, isn't that nice? Um, okay. Oh, Kingsley, I'm glad you found it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. I think it is kind of confusing. I I'm with you on that. Um, Frog's Jam, thank you for the subs, both you too. Have I come up with the same as trivia questions yet? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. I think I like the idea of doing that video, though. It'll be kind of fun. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Your dog hates unfamiliar doorways. She won't walk through them. Do you know what that reminds me of? My, so my parents' dogs, um, they, when they walk into, like, I don't know, like, the closet or whatever, or the pantry, they can walk in it, but obviously they're too big to turn around in it. <laughs> so they walk in, and then they have to, like, do a little scoot backwards to get out, and so they... <laughs> They walk in and then they gotta backwards scoot themselves out the back of the door. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Oh, no. They look goofy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. Cat's raging up. This is real bad. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, Carrie's an elder. Oh, no. They're both elders. This is real bad. Real bad. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we're gonna do a shell challenge probably in, like, early December, RJ. I wanna give it a second, like, give it a couple weeks, and then we'll probably do a shell challenge in, like, early December. That's my plan. There's so many graves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, in my defense, we're on generation seven of this family. And some of those Sims did die of natural causes. So. Anyway. <laughs> Sneaky, thank you for the prime sub. Um, hey besties, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little word of warning uh, that I think will uh, I'm not mad at you. You're not in trouble. But I think that you will appreciate this advice in the future. People don't like it when you demand that you raid someone. It really puts a bad taste in people's mouths. Like if the first time you ever talk to somebody is being like, Hey, go raid my friend! Um, that doesn't really go over that well on Twitch. People do it to me a lot. <laughs> I'm used to it. But when you go to like a smaller stream and then you like start spamming the chat, like asking for a raid or whatever, it's like... It's pretty bad vibes, and I don't want people to dislike you. So, um, just for the record, that's, like, generally kind of frowned upon, um, on the Twitch community. People don't like it when you demand things. Um, or when you're, like, being weird with self-promo stuff, like, Hey, I- Well, I gotta go, I'm streaming! <laughs> so, um, just keep that- just keep that in mind, you know? It's- it's rude to self-promo yourself, so. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Hand sneaky, thank you for the subs. Um. <laughs> Where's the pond? It's back here in the backyard. Um, in general, it's a better, instead of like um, dropping into places and, and asking people to follow you on Twitch, it's usually better just to hang out and be friends with them. This is a very, I'm not speaking in terms of any individuals, I'm speaking in general. Um, but it, it like people just like it when you hang out and befriend people. It's a way better way to get people to come watch the stream than it is to like ask people to follow you. Because <laughs> um, when you like actually befriend people sort of naturally, you know, um, they like you more, right? So, um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's usually best just to hang out, so. That is the situation. <laughs> um, CC or base game, Kayla? What do you mean, Kay? I don't have any custom content in my game right now. I have some mods, like, I have, like, MC Command Center and stuff, but I don't have any, like, custom content. So. Um. <laughs> I 
Are the stairs glitched? Um, it's because the light's off in the basement, I think. And it's the basement, so it looks weird. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, thank you for the 16 months. Oh, that's the other thing, Shella. When people come in and they tell you to raid somebody, I don't think they realize that what they're basically saying, like, if they come in right now, I'm gonna be live for, like, two more hours, probably. And then you come in right now, and then this happens a lot, like, every day. People are like, you should raid blank! And it's like, well, maybe, but just so you know, I'm still live. <laughs> it kind of, it's kind of like, end your stream and raid my friend. <laughs> Um, which even if that's not their intention, it kind of comes across that way, so it's usually best just to avoid that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, that's the Twitch etiquette pro tip, I guess. <laughs> not in response to anything that happened in chat, just in general, like, um, because you might not realize how it comes across, you know? Um, what's a raid? So when you raid someone, usually when I get off stream, um, not usually, always when I get off stream, um, you can raid another streamer. And what it means basically is be like, hey chat, I'm getting off, but oh, my friend Rochella is live. So we're going to go over and watch her stream together. And then you like send your viewers over there to watch that their stream. Um, and then um, you send them over and then I get off. <laughs> Um, and then we have a little party, so. <laughs> um, but, anyway. <laughs> That's how it works. A lot of people do it. Um, not everyone does it, but a lot of people do. Um, something that I did not know either, um, is that, uh, some, some streams, once they get to a certain size, you can't raid anymore. It's physically impossible with a certain number of you count to raid. I think because at that point it's like too much and Twitch is like watching out for people. <laughs> you don't want to like send them too much. <laughs> um, so, but that's, I didn't realize that was a thing. There's like a limit. Um, yeah, and it's no, I raid all sorts of people all the time. Um, but yeah, that's why a lot of the big, big, big streamers don't raid people. It's because they can't. Um, a lot of them will still be like, hey, like, and then spam a link in chat and say to go say hi to them. Um, but I also can see how at a certain point it becomes too much. Like, even I feel bad, um, when I raid people. I think the, the limit's like 30,000 viewers, by the way. It's not like a small number. It's like 30,000 viewers or something ridiculous, like really high. Um, but even I feel bad when I send like a lot of people over to a small stream sometimes. Um, because like the number of times that like, everyone following because of me has like broken people's bots and stuff. Um, <laughs> I always feel a bit guilty. It might be around 80k. It might be like closer to 80k. I don't know, Zuza. I'm, I don't, I've never had that many viewers. Um, so <laughs> I wouldn't know, but it's like a really high number. Um, but I, I always, I feel bad rating with like how many viewers I have sometimes. Um, so, um, I, ca I can see how, like, that would be too much. <laughs> but yeah, the, like, sometimes we, we, like, break things unintentionally. Um, oops, I, my headphones got trapped. Um, maybe it's 60k. Oh, maybe it's an in-between. Um, maybe it's an in-between. Do you know what? Laura, I, really interesting. That person that just said someone is gonna die today. Do you think they're talking about my sim? Or are they trying to torment us? Because that's their first message. So that, do they mean in The Sims? Or do they mean in real life? If their first message is, someone is going to die today. Is it a threat? Or are they making a Sims joke? Like, are they like from the YouTube channel? And no? <laughs> or are they trying to troll? <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Uh, Stone, the rules are in the panels down below. Don't worry, the, um, the English only rule is not like a strict one that's gonna get you banned or anything. Um, the reason that a lot of streams ask that you speak the language the streamer is speaking is because, um, it is hard enough as it is to mod a chat where the mods all speak the language. And my mods speak a bunch of different languages, but they don't speak all the languages. So it's impossible to, like, Google Translate everything we're seeing, you know, and so, um, and especially because the whole point of the chat is to kind of communicate together, it's best if we all use a common language, right? Um, 
So you'll you'll see most streams asking you to, to speak the language that the streamer is speaking. Or at the very least, like if the streamer is bilingual, they might be like, hey, you can talk in Spanish and English here. Um, but most times um, people like ask you to speak the language the streamer is speaking just so that everyone can understand. Um, also, like like um, Shella said, you would be really surprised the kind of nasty things people say to us in other languages. <laughs> it's it's not normally people just trying to hang out. It's it's like probably like eighty percent of the time people saying really nasty things in a different language to try and like get around bots. <sighs> um, but for the most part, it's really just so that we can all communicate together, right? Um, and then also get weed out the bads. <laughs> but obviously there's a difference between being like, ah! Oh no! Oh no! Anyway, there's a difference between just being like, hey, how are you? In a different language and then being like, you're an ugly little baby loser that is stupid and smells bad, you know? Anyway, my, my dog is dead. They were right! Oh my god! The person was right! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they said somebody was gonna die! And my, my dog, my cat is dead. Not my dog, it's a cat. Oh no! <laughs> they were right! <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, slash unban, you can come- <laughs> You were right! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I hate this game. Oh, Bunzi, Michaela, Ray, Abby, Arden, Cade, Violin, Brown, thank you all for the subs and bits, by the way. Yeah, to be fair, it was a pretty easy prediction for them. I mean, have you seen this? Next to the ghost chair in the room with the ghost wallpaper. Yeah, it's in my ghost room. Not redacted. Oh, this is the worst day. I'm sad. Um, anyway, Redacted's name was Redacted because I had previously named Redacted Dumbo, like after the elephant, because Redacted has these giant ears. Um, and it was so cute, and then I tried to post the family on the gallery, and then the gallery said that I couldn't because I had an offensive name, so I changed his name to Redacted, and then I could put it on the gallery. Yeah, I said my dog died. Leave me alone. That is definitely a dog. Look at that. How are you gonna tell me that's not a dog? It's definitely a dog. Why do you have a pet ball? Okay, Dolly. <laughs> now that's definitely a dog. If that's a dog, if that's not a dog, then I don't know what is exactly. Rest in peace. No, wait. Oh, that's, I was good. I almost typed pieces as a joke and then I, I was like, it's my cat. So I probably shouldn't, I mean dog. Um, so I probably shouldn't. Um, rest in peace, Dumbo. Yeah, there we go. The tail is too long for a cat. Exactly! That is obviously not a cat. This is what the cat gravestone looks like. Come on. Get it together, cat dog. Okay, um, <laughs> someone said, oh, she's messing with us. That took me a sec. I was messing with you. I'm sorry. Um, was this Moe's a single mom? She's not a single mom. This is her ghost husband right here. Their dad's around. He might be dead, but he's around. Darla, Teeks, thank you for the subs. Um, oh wait, I got I got this cool painting. All right, I'm gonna have my kids do their projects. I think they're gonna age up today, right? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll make them do their projects after they age up. And I'll bake them a cake instead. 
Their names are Poppy and Rose, and I'm going to make a cake. <laughs> what happened to the ghost brother? I brought him back to life and he moved out with his wife. I spent a very long time trying to get um, Ambrosia. I have some, some death flowers, and that's how I brought him back to life. It took me a very, very while. I was, uh, heard my cat again. I mean, my dog. <laughs> no thanks in Plankton. Lolly isn't enjoying her time cast out with all these slippery, scaly things. Should she tackle the fact that she dislikes fishing? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Please, Kayla, please, Kayla. Oh, Eugene! This is my dead brother that's back to life. See, I told you, he's fine. So. <laughs> Hurry up, bake the cakes so I can age up my kids. All right, add birthday candles. Come on, kiddos. Poppy, you're first. This is a big, bad problem. This is where we have to determine the air. Well, I guess we have a little bit of time while they're teens to decide, but, um, we're gonna have to figure out who the heir is gonna be after this. So, here's the thing. We randomize their traits. Poppy is currently evil, and now she is also an insider. That's boring. She's a loner. I, I hate the insider trait. I literally despise the insider trait. There's no point. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> the worst trade of the game. It's so stupid. They just complain about not being in a club. It's a big nothing trait, exactly. I'd rather have other ones. But yeah, the insider trait is, is insider. It like gives them perks with clubs. It's from get together. And then when they're not in a club or they haven't had a club meeting, they're like, ooh, I haven't had a club meeting in a while. Okay. Imagine your entire personality is complaining about not being in group chats. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hate the insider trait. It's stupid. And then they're like tense all the time because they're mad about not being in the group chats. Like, I just- who plays with clubs that much? You're- we're, no one uses clubs that much in The Sims 4. You just don't. So anyway, I don't, um... I don't use it. Um, you want- yeah, like, an extroverted trait would be better. Like, extrovert would be way better. You want an anxiety trait? No way! <laughs> Veto, I don't want my sims to have these problems. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> to be fair, I think that, um, like, if they were to do things like that as traits, I think that there's, like, a really fine line of it being insensitive, you know? Like, um, and I also, I, uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, I would like to see, like, an extrovert sort of trait. I mean, we have outgoing, which is kind of similar, but I feel like they could have come up with something better to do with clubs that wasn't just the insider thing. I don't know. Grumpy would be a fun one. I like grumpy. Yeah, and paranoid, paranoid's a good example of a good trait that is good outside. So, like, insider is very much only for clubs and get-together, right? But the paranoid trait, that one works outside of just the Strangerville gameplay. Um, and it kind of, I mean, that's kind of what you're asking for, right, I guess, too. Um, grumpy's kind of hot-headed. Now, nah, I take hot-headed as being more, like, aggressive. I think a hothead, like, they kind of, like, blow up at you. But grumpy is just kind of grumpy. I guess as far as how the gameplay would be affected, it would probably be similar, though. But hot-headed is, like, more aggressive. Um, Fireflies, this is just on Twitch. I have all of the past streams on my second channel, though, if you want to watch them. But this, I don't play on, um, on you my YouTube channel. Alright, ready? Randomize. Three, two... One. Dance machine? What is with these get-together traits? <laughs> I gave her the serial romantic aspiration. Epic. Dance machine. Okay. 
No, I love the high maintenance trait. I think high maintenance is a really good trait. I'm serious. I think high maintenance is up there with like one of my favorite traits they ever made. It's that's the new one that they added to Spa Day like a couple Here's months ago. Left. High maintenance is really fun. No, that's the worst trait. Oh, it's it's extremely annoying, but I think it's fun. Um, I think it's fun. Okay, she's pretty. Oh, they look really similar. You can tell that they're twins. They're pretty. Bye, Snap. Bye, Snap. <laughs> she just ran downstairs. Dan let her out of his room and she ran downstairs. She has my sweater. Which one? Huh. The vintage one? Okay. <laughs> okay, my vintage sweater from 2016, right? Kids these days! <laughs> I like, 2016 is vintage! This is horrible. <laughs> not this again! <laughs> oh, her eyebrows are not ideal. I was born in 2016. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Cash app. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred gifted subs. What the heck? <laughs> Hello? Thank you so much. Not complaining. <laughs> Cash app is a Simsy stand confirmed. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> Megan and Little Orange, thank you for the subs, too. <laughs> 100! Well, congrats! 100 of you have a 30-day sub now. Um, if you didn't know, a gift is sub on Twitch. Um, someone else can buy you a sub, and it gives you all the sub perks for a month. Um, so congrats. <laughs> they put a Simsy panic in the chat. I respect that. <laughs> Dan says no. <laughs> um, Kimmy, so sub gifts like that, um, the the user who gifts them doesn't pick. It just goes to to random accounts, like a hundred random accounts. Yeah. Why isn't it loading any of the hairs? Hello, Drew, anxious, orange, Megan, Lindsay. Thank you for the subs. Um, also Caroline and Laurel with the 24 months, 15 months, Caroline, uh, Corinna and Laura's with the subs too. Thanks everybody. Um, Dan's just jealous, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could gift subs to an individual if you wanted to, um, but by default the sub gifts like that are random. So. Should look over the fringe. Are you saying she needs bangs to cover up her weird eyebrows? <sighs> She's also a bit chinless. We've been having some real chin problems in this family recently. Um, and unfortunately, Rose here is not exempt. So. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Her eyebrows are fine. Oh, the eyebrows I gave her now are fine. You should have seen the other ones that she had when she aged up. Terrible. It was quite scary, actually. Um. I feel like I want to give her something more... I don't know. I don't think I want to give her this one. Which one do I like better? I feel like as of right now, I'm a little bit more into... Maybe you can keep the piercing if you want. That could be fun. What, you had both? You had both? That's weird. Pick one. 
Mm, but I feel like Poppy has better traits. Rose is a dance machine. Who's gonna be the heir? We don't know yet. We'll wait until they get a little bit older. You have both health? Oh, it looks fine in real life. We're talking about The Sims. She looked silly in The Sims. I don't mean to make you feel bad. We're talking about The Sims and their problem with having literally every accessory on at once. <laughs> I didn't mean in real life. I met these people in The Sims. Um, Wendy, Bear, Bestie, Harry, Drew, thank you for the subs and bits too. The eyeball ring, every piercing possible. <laughs> like, isn't Poppy evil? Yeah, she's evil and a loner. Um, you think Poppy's the best in your opinion? Yeah, I think I like Poppy the best too. You can't even, does it not let you? So how did she even have both before, if it won't even work when I try? This is weird. I'm scared. Anyway. Evil loner. That'll be a really good one for the heir. That's just perfect, you know? When I think about who I want the heir of my family to be, really what I want them to be is evil and a loner. <laughs> you can have both, but only one appears. There you go. That's why it's doing that. Um. No. How about this? No. It's a shame, because I feel like the term loner kind of has, like, kind of negative connotations, you know? But we don't have, like, an introvert type of trait otherwise, you know? Um, which is a shame, because I feel like that would be good. Um, do I have my evil hacker? Maybe she could be the evil hacker. Um, yeah, anyway, I would call myself a loner in The Sims. I, I think that I relate to that trait in The Sims 4. <laughs> I'm still on hot water. That's fine. I'm trying to pick her hairstyle still. Um, so we're thinking evil hacker. I might give her black hair. I might dye her hair black just so that she looks different from her sister a little bit more. Um, we'll get some, like, more. I think I want her to have a lot of, like, dark makeup on. I don't know. I just like the idea. <laughs> Did you hear Dan? <laughs> It's funny how much, like, the parts of his stream that I catch is so funny to me. Um, yeah, I think the black hair suits her really well, too. I agree. Ah. Goth pots. Wait, wait, should I dress her like, um, should I dress her like Cassandra Goth? Should I dress her up like Cassie? Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. I just, I just recreate all of Cassandra Goth's outfits. No, I can't do that. I can't. That's not funny. <laughs> hot weather bestie. I know, I'm doing her hot weather outfit first. She's descended from Cassandra Goth. No, Cassandra Goth is long dead. Um, Cassandra Goth, so keep in mind, this sim is Gen 8. Cassandra Goth has been dead for forever. She's like so dead, it's not even funny. Oh my god, <laughs> she's been dead for decades, exactly. <laughs> Um, sorry about Daniel. 
Cassandra Goth is vintage, okay? If anyone's vintage, it's Cassie. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got some really loud roommates. Um, it's unfortunate. So. <laughs> okay, I want to give her, like... Maybe some sandals will be good. And maybe a bracelet. Am I gonna stop at 10 gens or keep playing till I get tired of it? I think, um, I think I want to stop at 10 generations because I want to play, um, I would like to play a new legacy. And I think I want to do it in a different save where, um, it's less laggy. I mean, we're gonna play not so very. And we've thought about, um, using, like, a sim from from like this family like switching them over and stuff um but if we're gonna do it i really want to do it in a save that's less laggy so i would i'm probably gonna switch to a new save um less laggy wise laggy in this save because we're on the eighth generation karen everything's a mess <laughs> everything is a mess 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 on gen 8 um I'm sure you've probably experienced it if you've played long generations in The Sims 2. Like, everybody's dead, um, most of the households are empty, because when Sims die, um, like, the last Sim in a household dies, they take away all the furniture, like, the, the furniture dies with them, basically. Um, so, like, a lot of the houses are empty. I've been, like, replacing some of them, but you just kind of don't notice until you go to one and you're like, oh my god, this one too. Um, but... Anyway, a lot of it's kind of a mess, so. Yeah, you're like, your file sizes get bigger, the game lags, it glitches more, you know, just as it goes on, so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play Not So Berry, because I promised I would. Um, I actually wrote the Not So Berry Challenge, if you did not know, um, with my friend Zoe, ages ago. Um, and we're gonna play it again on stream, because I promised I would. Um, I wanna pick something interesting. Um, I should play it in someone else's save. Listen, I did not spend all that time making my stupid save file to not use it, okay? <laughs> um, with a quill and ink and paper because you're so old and you wrote it so long ago. <laughs> huh. Well, not so very vintage now, too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> Every single one of you sucks. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> um, okay. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong, maybe, oh wait, no, I didn't press the wrong button. I just need the, I want the holiday jeans. in a darker color. Maybe with a crop top, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Better than people calling me 12. I know, pick, first of all, pick a side. One of you needs to pick a side because first, first I'm 12. Now I'm vintage. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I don't think I want to wear the hoodie. I think I want it to be a bit fancier. We can use the hoodie for something else, though. I just want her to use these boots. So. Find something to match. Dipsy, Alfie, Jennifer, Brooke, Ivy, Anna, Fenno, Kathira, Molly, Wendy, thank you all for the subs and bits, everybody, too. Um, yeah, I always forget about that university hoodie, too, so we should use it for one of her outfits. Um, that'll be nice. I'm looking for a crop top. That one's not cropped enough. Which I feel like is a first of which friend of Simsy does CC. Um, I actually have a couple, so. <laughs> the one that um, you're probably asking about is Little Zika because he's in the chat right now. Um, but I actually have a couple CC creator friends, so. <laughs> um, not to brag, but. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, yeah, he's in chat, like, on occasion, sometimes Little Zika hangs out in the stream, not always, just, like, sometimes, um, 
he pops in from time to time. <laughs> yep. Wait, I like the purple. I think the purple is cute. I might keep it. I like that light. I might give her matching purple nails too. Um, I like this. That's pretty good. Sometimes I have to go grocery shopping, you know? <laughs> um, okay. I put a watch. That'll work. Oh, and her piercings too. Um, okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Very cool. Not very nice or very cool. I'm gonna spend way too long on this. <laughs> RJ, um, my last name, according to my grandfather who did a lot of research on this, um, the name, if you guys didn't know, I know it sounds like a lie, it's not a lie. <laughs> I feel like I need to preface it. My last name is literally Sims. Um, my, like, the username Lil Simsy is like a reference to my name, right? Um, and like, it is an old nickname. My grandfather said that the name Sims is English. Um, and my grandpa, before he died, spent like a lot of time researching family history. He was like writing a book, like, like, like a memoir of like the way, like how he met my grandmother and like, like loads of things like that, but also like further back. Um, and so he says that it's English. And I'm not here to question the dead, so. <laughs> um, but anyway. I want... <laughs> um, okay, okay. I think... I don't know what I want her to wear. It was her destiny. I was- I was destined to play this game. Kayla's British is confirmed? Not really! <laughs> I don't have much English in me. Um, but, you know, names can come from all over the place. Um, there are Sims and Tims in England. Checks out. There you go. Sims is also spelled with two M's a lot. Mine isn't, um, but whenever I have to, like, give people my, the, like, last name, and then I'm, like, Sims, and they're, like, with one M or two, and then I say one. So, people spell it, like, S-I-M-M-S -S a lot. Um, so, taking a DNA test? I actually have. Um, it's not, I mean, I'm just white, <laughs> obviously. Um, bunch of European. I knew, like, my, my grandmother is Swedish. Her mom, like, immigrated here from Sweden, like, um, so like a little bit of Swedish in there. Um, my other parent's side is Welsh. So <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> I, I think it's, it, I'm not like trying to call myself Swedish. Like the last person who is from Sweden in my family is my great grandmother. So, okay, I think um, <laughs> well, should Dan still marry you? I know, isn't it horrible, Kate? <laughs> um, also Danish as well. Got a whole bunch of mix in there, but anyway. Do you hear him screaming? <laughs> Do you hear him screaming? <laughs> yeah, um, at its core, weights, yes, white. <laughs> uh, disregard him. Don't worry about Dan. He found out. He, he found out about the. He's like, did you say Swedish? Oh no. <laughs> um. Okay. Anyway, I think I don't know what I want her to wear. I don't like any of them. Is Dan okay? Yeah, he's just playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> he's fine. He's just playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> um, so, you know. It's very stressful. Um, well, I started playing The Sims because it is my last name. I, I like, begged my mother to buy the game for me. Because I was like, it's the game that's named after us. <laughs> We have to get it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's fine that people don't believe me. It's probably for the best if they don't, truthfully, but um, it's not a lie. Honestly, of all the things to lie about, that's an embarrassing one. 
<laughs> like, it's really easily fact checkable as well, you know? So to lie about it, like, <laughs> it'd be really embarrassing. But I understand people think I'm lying. Whatever. Um, whatever. <laughs> Okay. No, it's true. I saw her college graduation. That's true. You were there on stream. <laughs> I might actually give this sim a, um, a skirt and top instead of this. Um, I think that's probably a better bet. I was there too. I was there. Um, wait, let me look at skirts. Okay. True OGs have seen the diploma. No, I'm not going to change my last name, Cayenne. I just don't want to. I literally cannot think of anything I want to do less than that. And I'm, I'm not kidding when I say that. Honestly, cannot think of anything I want to do less than deal with having to change my name. It seems like quite the hassle and just not something I care to bother with. So, <laughs> such a pain. Um... I don't know. Dan and I have had to deal with enough paperwork recently. Like, I don't want to have to deal with that, too. <laughs> um, so, can probably get some tattoos. She can have some later. I don't think I want to give her any tattoos yet. I feel like, in my head, because um, she's a teen, I think I want to wait until she turns into a young adult and we can never get tattoos then. I want to try and somehow show some passage of time, because you can't really do that in The Sims. Like, you can't really have time pass at all. So we have to do something to pretend that time is passing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, so, we'll do it like that. My initials are KMS. <laughs> um, my initials are KMS, that is true. Thank you, mother. My mom's initials are also KMS. We got the same middle name and the same last name, and her name is also a K name, so. <laughs> Thank you, mother. <laughs> um, Francis, B, Apple, Lizzie, Donnie, thank you for the subs too, everybody. Um, okay. I think... <laughs> I'm not doing a good job. I'm taking too long. <laughs> okay. Or some glasses. Oh, really, Mia? That's kind of funny. Um, well, you maybe you should find someone with an S last name so you can change yours. Thoughts on that? <laughs> Guess enough with the 13 months. Um, good idea, Jen, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think... I don't know, Sims Rock. I don't- people ask me that all the time. Uh, it's kind of funny how often people ask about it. The question is, um, when Dan and I have kids, which is not for any time soon, <laughs> if I would hyphenate their last names, and that's just such a thing that's, um, so far off from any time soon. I don't know, and I don't want to think about it. Um, so, <laughs> um, Dan's name is already really long, though, so... Yeah, I'll worry about that in the future. That's not a problem for right now. Um, so much time to worry about that problem. <laughs> so... Um, okay, I think... I'm spending so long on this for absolutely no reason. It's kind of embarrassing. I think... Does he have a personal question too? Oh no, no he does not. <laughs> of course he doesn't. No one's gonna ask Dan um, if he's gonna change his last name. <laughs> that's not a question that's gonna be assumed of him. <laughs> um, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Um, but, you know. His last name is actually not Duck. Yeah, I know, it's shocking. But, <laughs> Duck is his first name and Dan is his last name, yeah. Casanova, Raz, Ryan, Katie, thank you for the subs. Um, <laughs> Dan should change, change his last name to By Daylight. Dan By Daylight, there you go. Um, okay. I think that's a better name, honestly. <laughs> no, don't go spam him. 
Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No, no. <laughs> Nobody wins um, if you do that. It's not his fault people don't ask him that question. Um, behave. Behave. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, Ifri, I've heard of people doing stuff like that. Um, this is the thing. This is the core of it. This is the, the end-all be-all. We don't need to talk about it anymore. I just don't want to change my last name. <laughs> I like my name. Dan and I have had to do so much paperwork as it is with this visa thing. Like, <laughs> the last thing I want to do is more. <laughs> so, um, anyway. There, there's the answer to your question. Um, anyway, I agree. It's not funny to spam. Even as a joke, I know we're like memeing right now, but besties, it's not cool to spam. Um, and we were talking about Twitch etiquette earlier. <laughs> Spamming doesn't really um, work. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, yeah, Bethany, I, I think it's just, like, it's so common. People, like, changing their name is so common. It's, like, so expected of people that they ask about it all the time. All the time. Um, but whatever. <laughs> you can see Poppy owning a restaurant and making bad food on purpose. Well, because she's evil? <laughs> Um, yeah, that makes sense, Megan. I can imagine. That does seem like a nightmare amount of work. Um, why don't I get the more columns mod? I, I don't want the more columns mod. I find the more columns mod to be really overwhelming. Um, I, I have a hard time, like, digesting the columns as it is. Um, I don't really want the more columns mod because I don't know if I can handle looking at more at once. <laughs> Like full, full transparency, that is why. I think I just, I need it to be less to look at it one time. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think three columns I could probably handle. I just, I don't know. I, um, I have a hard time looking at it all. <laughs> um, but it makes sense if you don't like scrolling, you want to look at it more. I mean, everyone's got a personal preference for that one. By the way, more columns always breaks when there's an update. That's one of those mods like UI cheats that always breaks with an update. So if you just update it, obviously this isn't applying right now, but if you updated your game and you're like, oh my God, it won't even load Cass. What is happening? The game is broken. EA ruined the Sims. Uninstall the more columns mod and then, and then go look and see if they've updated it and then get that version. And you'll be set because it, um, when it breaks, they're really quick to update it. Um, and that is 100% why your game is broken. <laughs> um, the more columns mod is, is one of the main ones. It's always UI cheats in more columns that people are like, oh my gosh, everything is ruined. And then I have to tell them to delete it. <laughs> um, but it's, I mean, it's not their fault, but I, un I understand the immediate panic, but it's, it's always that one. So, it's never broken for you. I guess it used to break more often in the past, um, but I, I have experience with people complaining about it. So, um, I'm just warning you. <laughs> or it definitely still breaks. After okay, no, so it does definitely still break after every update. Okay, so there you go. I was right. Um, yeah, they always update the UI, so it always breaks. That's just because EA is updating. It's not like the mod's fault. They're just always updating the UI, so it always breaks. Um, but if you haven't noticed it breaking, it's probably broken and you just didn't notice. <laughs> Obviously, there's levels of it breaking, right? Like, it, like, breaks to the point where it won't load casts. Um, and it breaks less, but... Um, but, anyway... <laughs> Anyway, um, I think, Rose, I would like to have you wear pink. 
we don't know if Rose or Poppy is going to be the heir. We're going to kind of figure that out based on, um, well, well, we'll see how we're feeling about their gameplay, like, while we're playing with them. And then when they age up into young adults, we can do the final decision based on those final traits. Um, I like Poppy, I think, right now, but I might change. Also, Pink Girl from Hamilton, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> um okay i think i want like a floral skirt oh my god wait is there like a pretty light purple that matches that or a i kind of like this I kind of like this. Um, no, I don't use much CC. I don't. I don't have any skin defaults or anything anymore. I used to have a custom content default skin, um, but I haven't had one for a while. Um, your birthday is in June. Well, hey, happy birthday! Um, do you know we have the skirt? Yeah, this skirt came with um, romantic garden stuff. Um, you want her to wear white or nude shoes? There's not good flats. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to play with Cass anymore. <laughs> I did too much Cass and now I'm burnt out and I want away. Um, it's fine. Okay, I think... Um... Some pretty pink lipstick. My early Alpha Sims DC days were funny. You mean when the game first came out? Look, I think something that a lot of people forget is that early in The Sims 4, um, pretty much the only CC we had was like Alpha CC because a lot of the early custom content was conversions from The Sims 3. Um, and so like, and that obviously is a different art style than The Sims 4. Um, so a lot of the early custom content, like the majority of the early custom content was, um, was more alpha in style. And then we all sort of switched. I mean, like people still play with alpha CC all the time, but, um, we, meaning me and like you, if you use Maxis Match CC, um, kind of switched to Maxis Match CC later on once we had more available. Um, but anyway, I don't really use CC anymore, so, um, wrong place to come for custom content, unfortunately. Um, I'm boring these days. Who started doing Maxis Match? Do you mean, like, did an individual start? I don't- I don't think it was, like, any one individual that, like, started it. I think people just sort of slowly started making more and more. I don't know. Some people probably always did. Um, and the reason I stopped using CC. Yeah, I just made a save file and I had to make like 300 sims with no custom content. And then I was like, I kind of like this. And I just didn't use CC anymore after that. <laughs> um, that's that's because of my Simsy save. I just ma I made a lot of sims with no CC and then I was like, oh. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Um, so I just sort of stopped using it. Um, now I don't really use mods in any of the games that I play, so. Um, yeah, that's probably true, Mrs. Vern. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing for us. I think, um, I think you probably are having a similar sentiment to a lot of people that watch my videos and stuff on YouTube and things. Because, um, a lot of people play, I don't know, maybe they play The Sims on console and they literally can't have CC, or they just never bothered downloading CC, um, and so they're kind of in a similar boat to me. Um, but I, I do use MC Command Center and UI Cheats. I always have those mods in my game. I can't live without them. Um. <laughs> I think for me, a lot of it too is that I'm I'm doing so many builds that I share on the gallery that people download, um, and I already feel bad enough about using like um, I don't know a lot of packs 
that not everybody has. And then you go and you start using a lot of CC that not everybody has, and all of a sudden it's like impossible to download the build because it's got like all this stuff in it that you have to then go and download. I don't know, it's just a lot. Um, and I don't want to have to put like CC lists in every video description. Like I, I just, um, but that's just a personal preference thing. And we all play different ways. Nothing wrong with people that use CC, obviously I used to use it all the time, but. Um, since the update came out, I've started growing on Twitter again and it's going to my head. Miv! <laughs> I can't believe you posted that in my Twitch chat. <laughs> I'm famous now, sorry Lil Simsy. Hey Miv, I still have more Twitter followers than you. Just, just gotta knock you down one peg. Just, just one. Um. <laughs> we get it, you're Twitter famous, but, um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You walked right into it, okay? It's brutal out here. <laughs> She can unfriend you on the Switch at any time. Yeah, you better watch out, Miv. I'll unadd you on the Switch. <laughs> um, Crystal, uh, Crystal Fly, Blake, Dabney, Mommy Soros, Lulu, thank you all for the subs too. Um, also Pulitz and Salty and Mantella, thank you so much. Um, Miv has had a couple tweets really go, um, go kind of big recently though, which is kind of cool. Um, like twice or something. What if Miv's- I, if Miv gets verified for me on Twitter, I would be happy for her. I would be really sad for myself though. I've been denied Twitter verification like four times. I can't even apply right now. I have to wait 30 days after my current denial. Um, no you wouldn't. I would be happy for Miv! That's cool! I wouldn't say anything publicly about being mad at Miv for it. It's not Miv's fault. <laughs> it's Twitter's fault. <laughs> Twitter's the one that won't verify me. Anyway, I'm not upset. Just, why? They don't tell you why either. I just want to know why. I think it's because I don't tweet enough. I, the only thing I can think of is that I don't tweet enough. So I've been trying to tweet more, but then I forget and I, I forget to tweet because I don't know. I don't tweet enough. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about on Twitter. I'm not interesting. It's too much pressure. I hate Twitter. <laughs> it's so scary out there. Um, anyway, I don't know how to do it. Just say random stuff. Yeah, but like, what am I going to say? I don't know. I'm just not that interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> Caitlin, Spooky, Nina, thank you for the subs, all of you. Um, but anyway, Twitter is really weird about verifying people, though. I really don't know what they're what they're like, because they have obviously they have like secret requirements, because they don't want to they don't want to make their actual requirements public, so they give some like kind of vague general information about the requirements publicly and then they don't tell you their actual ones because then it's sort of up to their discretion if they want to verify you or not and they can decide like ooh, no just sort of um subjectively based on who they want to verify um so they don't tell like, they never told me why i haven't gotten they why they deny my request but then if they keep denying you without telling you why what do they expect you to do um but anyway, just post pictures of my cat. I just post like a bunch of pictures of my cat and that's it. Nothing else. Just the cat photos. Honestly, I'd do it. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> just schedule a bunch of pictures of Snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think these two are dressed now. Um, wait, I didn't do it. Wait. Did I do her cold weather outfit? I don't think I did. Can you show us your Christmas tree? I did put up my Christmas tree downstairs. Wait, do I have a photo of it? I don't want to pull it up high up close because I don't want to, um, 
Oh, here's my cat in it. Not in it. She's sitting on the floor hitting the one of the ornaments. Um. I'm not showing you more than this. I could tweet more clips. I did not do her cold weather outfit. The problem with tweeting clips is that I, um, I'd want to put captions on them, so I'd have to, like, edit them more. Which, I mean, like, it just takes a while to, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, alright, you need cold weather outfit, because I forgot to do it. <laughs> Make Dan do it? Oh, I do! If anyone's gonna be cutting together some clips for Twitter, it's not me! <laughs> um, no, it's, he offers. So. <laughs> okay, I wanna get some jeans. Just hire me to write tweets for you. Miv! Okay, you have a couple Animal Crossing tweets go viral, and all of a sudden, you think that you can offer to write people's tweets for them? Okay, Miv. <laughs> You get 20,000 likes on one tweet, and all of a sudden... <laughs> um, okay. I want some jeans. Discover University. Me and Hope write Kayla's tweets to be fair. When have you ever? You are all acting like- No, 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 no. You will not take credit for any of such things. The only time that I can recall Hope and Laura helping with a tweet was when I asked them for help with what order to put my merch photos in. And then they said they didn't like the order that I had them in that I was drafting. And then I was sad because they didn't like what I did. And I wasn't going to say it, but I was actually kind of sad. They were like, mm, it looks bad. So... <laughs> yeah, I asked for help, but I didn't actually want help. I just wanted you to agree with me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fine. Anyway, I know who I won't be asking next time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, this is why yesterday I asked if you had already sent something before making a suggestion. No, 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 no. I, I, I was asking for help with that one. <laughs> for an HA um, and Kay, thank you, Mystic, all of the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Well, I'm back. I'm loaded in. Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna make them share their little kids' room still for a while. I feel like they deserve it. Chibi, I think we should just never help in case she's not actually asking for help. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now hang on just one minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, my sims are evil. I'm waiting. They really just abandoned me like that. Yeah, can you believe it? Also, Brittany and Jaden, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Is she wearing the same sweater as her mom? Yeah, actually, I just realized. But only for her cold weather outfit, so it's fine. It's only for cold weather. Alright, let's, um, serve up, maybe? Ah, oh, the annoying part is that her husband is a vegetarian. <laughs> I am a vegetarian, so I'm allowed to say this. But uh, he keeps eating meat. I'm gonna make a salad or something, so I know he won't eat it and get sick. Can you stop? Can you stop? I don't even believe you because you asked us for picture help more than one time, so if, I, if you were actually sad, you wouldn't have asked us again. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. So. Did 
but I don't believe that you were kidding. Well, Hope, then what do you believe? You're accusing me of lying in more than one way. Did you get eaten by a cow plant? Oh my god, why did you do that? Well, that wasn't very smart, now was it? <sighs> when did that happen? Because you would be sad. Hope. <sighs> Knows me too well is the problem. <laughs> you smell. Thank you for the 12 months, by the way. Um. <laughs> oh, I got a new cow plant. It's not still alive. Let's see. Dead. Can you stop evil laughing? Weirdo. 3,000 simoleon bills. You need help naming a sim? RJ, um, you can name the sim... Gladys. That's my final answer. So. Okay, time for bed. <laughs> time for bed in, in real life too, actually. Surprised I didn't say Kayla. Yeah, I was trying to branch out. You know? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, to embarrass Hope? I don't remember what I said. To be honest with you. Absolutely no memory of it, so I couldn't tell you. Marie, thank you for the 14 months. You're seeing Harry Styles tonight? Oh, where is he tonight? Where do you live? Harry Styles tonight. Thursday, November 11th. San Jose, California. Hey, have fun. That's cool. <laughs> oh, you told me now. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> I've been to San Jose. There was a TwitchCon in San Jose a couple years ago. Or my first ever TwitchCon was in... Wait. No. The second TwitchCon I went to was in San Jose. It was the second one. Does that count as doxing? No. <laughs> they said they were going to see Harry Styles today. You don't live there, so it's okay. There, it's fine. I went to see Harry Styles in Tampa. I don't live in Tampa. <laughs> oh, not the dead rat. Please leave. Please leave. Please. <laughs> um, but... Anyway. <laughs> hey, thank you for the raid. I hope you got a, oh no. Oh, now I'm embarrassed. Okay, just because you're all here and you're new, I just wanna say that not all, um, some of these Sims died of old age. Some of them. Anyway, X, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Oh no! Whenever I get a raid when I'm playing this household, I'm like, um, welcome to my family. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like it here. <laughs> um, thank you for the 25 gifted subs too, Butler. Thank you so much. Well, we're playing a, a, a big long household in The Sims basically to catch you up to speed. Um, when I say that, I'm, I'm like not pranking you either. Um, the, we've been playing this family for literally so long. Um, this is my, my legacy family. We're on the eighth generation, basically. <laughs> um, but th that's to catch you up to speed. Don't worry about the graves in my front yard. It's absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good stream. Thanks for coming in. Um, so yeah, some died of old age. Others, you know, fell into the shark pond got eaten by a cow plant and other such things nothing to worry about absolutely nothing to worry about just don't you know <laughs> to be fair it has happened over the course of like eight generations so um in my defense it wasn't like a short murder spree it was a, um, drawn out 
<laughs> uh, but anyway, <laughs> what matters is that they're all dead. How it happened doesn't matter. We there. <laughs> John, thank you for the sub too. <laughs> Kikino and Shu, thank you for the subs, both you two too. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, my sims are gonna wake up for work and school soon, ideally. Do you actually have work today? Oh, oh, the ghost in my house. <laughs> I should probably explain that one too. Did you get eaten by a cow plant as well? How many of you have eaten the cow plant? I didn't even do that. Anyway, the ghost is my sim's dead husband. At least he's still here, you know? She also had a dead brother for a while, but I, I brought him back to life. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> all right, you, you guys have your first day of high school today. Oh, you really should probably take a shower or something before you have school. I sort of failed to have you get ready for your first day. Is Patrick going to come back to life? No, I'm, I don't like her husband that much. I don't want him to live. Um, how did the brother die? Well, so in a legacy challenge, you have to, at some point, decide on an heir. You know, who's gonna carry on the family legacy and be the next main sim you play with. And I, I had two sims, two twins, to decide between. Um, and so what I had them do was a, a battle of the death. The winner was the one that lived and was the heir. The loser died. Eugene, dead. But I did bring him back to life and now he's happily married. He's got two kids. Um, so, it's fine. Here he is. And look, one's called London apparently and Lauren, London and Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alexia, Jade, Zay, Sean, thank you for the subs, everybody, too. Um, but, anyway, it was a bit, um, it was controversial, basically, this, this death of Eugene. Okay, you need to play some chess or something to get your logic skill up for your, for your career. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Slash, thank you for the four months, too. Okay. My water's a bit squeaky. Sorry about that. Um. <laughs> My day's been good. Thanks for asking, Shen. I've had fun today. Um, I recorded a couple videos. I did some email. Really exciting stuff. <laughs> really just great fun. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, hurry up so you can get the skill up. Do I play Fortnite? You know, not really. I did actually post an Animal Crossing video on YouTube today. That is my second ever Animal Crossing video on YouTube, which is kind of fun. Um, I mostly only post Sims content on YouTube. Uh, I'm just starting out on YouTube. I'm just getting started, so. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, that was a joke. I've been a YouTuber longer than a streamer. Um, but I posted an Animal Crossing video today. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to read the comments because I, um, was busy as soon as I posted it and then I went live, so I, <laughs> I haven't read the comments yet, so I don't know how people are liking it. People in chat have said good things about it, so. Sarah, thanks for the 12 month resub, by the way. Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> okay. Eugene, that's my dead brother. Um, but anyway. I played Animal Crossing, so. <laughs> um, oh, Moya, I'm so glad to hear that. That is awesome news. That is awesome news. Triple vax soon for you, Moya. That's awesome. Um, my dad's triple vaxed. <laughs> Booster man over there. <laughs> I did the restaurant. Um, I, I did the restaurant in Animal Crossing. I had a lot of fun. I So far, I think that doing the restaurant and the cafe have been two of my favorite like, that's, like, some of the most fun I've ever had playing Animal Crossing, was decorating the restaurant and the cafe. 
I like this school, but not as much, but the restaurant and the cafe, I had a lot of fun doing in Animal Crossing. That was like some of my favorite Animal Crossing decorating I've ever done. I just thought it was fun. So I've enjoyed it. <laughs> um, but anyway. Oh, how do they fight to the death? Oh, it was great fun. So basically, I got two of these death pawns, and then I had her and her brother both jump into them repeatedly until one of them died. And then the other one didn't, and then they got to live. Your triple vax as of yesterday? Nice, Hogwarts! That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I am very glad to hear that. Oh, I got some big money over here. All right, I'm going to buy some oversized crop seeds. I think I'm going to do all pumpkins, because... I'm feeling the fall vibes. That was probably one of my most unhinged streams, though, I think. that um, <laughs> The battle to the death stream. That was quite the day. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Um, also, Jennifer, your daughter's Aiden got her first vax today. I am so glad. I've A lot of people have been saying that now that, um, obviously, that the younger kids can get the vaccine um, that their kids have gotten. And that must be such a relief. Um, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rose swiped an object at school. <sighs> A thief. A thief in the household. Okay, go watch a movie or something. <laughs> Better or worse than I, when I killed the dad with the Murphy bed in the ra- Ah. Uh, I choose to not think about that. I don't even know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> okay. Um. She's paying her rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's paying her rent. <laughs> oh, is that another rat postcard? Look how cute it is. That's a good one. Okay, I should sell some of these things, though. I have too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. That'll be fine. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. What are you gonna do? Watch your TV? You should probably watch TV too. You're not having the best day. Crying and everything. <laughs> yeah, we've got all kinds of weird things in the family inventory. Yeah, I've got chickens. Um. So, Katya, the Bell family is the family I play on YouTube. That's different. I have a YouTube series and I have a Twitch series. Um, so the Bell family is the one from, from YouTube. Sorry about Dan and his screaming. He's playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> oh yeah, they get sad a lot from seeing the graves. It's really terrible. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, promoted to art book? Okay, hey! We got some extra stuff I can sell. The chickens I've had since the, uh, Cottage Living first came out, it's because I can't get rid of them without placing a chicken coop. To, like, you can't, like, sell them out of your inventory, you have to, like, place a chicken coop. And so they're just in my, they're just in my inventory. Oh, I don't have potions, I have, um, cow plant juice. In my inventory. Oh, the basement's just a library. It's not anything fancy. Sorry, everyone always gets excited about the basement, but it's not- it's nothing fancy in the basement, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, cow plant milk, I should say. That's a better word. Yes, sorry. Oh, I can put them on the ground and sell them like that? I thought it wouldn't let me. I thought it was making me try and place- place them- I thought I had to have a coop. Oh, no, I can put them on the ground. No! My chickens! I think I was just trying to sell them out of here. It wouldn't let me delete it. But I want to keep them. It's kind of funny. It amuses me because people are always like, Oh my god, why do you have those chickens? And I'm like, what? What do you mean? Well, do you not have chickens? So I like to have them. <laughs> I like them. Um, also, Sean and Emma, thank you for the subs. 
Uh, Ivan with the four months. Trademark claim underscore James C with the 27 months. They've been there for a while though. Yeah, like probably decades as far as the like, game is concerned. <gasps> no, don't destroy your sister's project. Go work on yours. Do you not carry chickens in your pocket? Yeah, I always do. Personally, I don't know about you. <laughs> Hey, Emma finished your last university assignment after six years. Emma, congratulations. That is huge. What a relief. I, um, I know the feeling like that last submission of, or whatever of your assignment, it's over. And then you're like, thank God <laughs> I'm done. Um, so I'm really glad to hear that. Um, congrats. And Sundance, thanks for the resub too. Okay. Is it a slow stream today? No. <laughs> Are you saying it looks like I have no viewers? <laughs> uh, okay. No, don't shoo the cat. I think they're memeing. I think they're memeing. Ha, dead streamer. Okay. You would have changed your tune if you saw the chat earlier. If it makes you feel any better. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll Simstagram the pet. Carrie's an elder. Carrie's gonna die too. Yeah, someone did die today, but not on purpose. Um, one of my pets died. I have two cats, or well, I had two cats. Um, but now I only have one cat because the other one died of old age. Uh, yeah, Hope, I'm with you. I, I think that we did ban more people today than we have all week. Probably like all week combined. <laughs> On a roll over here. But yeah, one of the one of the cats died, unfortunately, so. Um Okay, I'm gonna come work on this. Thank you very much. You think I'm in a better mood than normal? <laughs> Why do people say stuff like this to me? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in a bed I feel normal. Oh, besties, I don't think you mean it this way, but it really, when people say that, it's it's kind of the equivalent of being like, wow, you look horrible today. Are you feeling all right? You know, it's one of those where it's like, so you think I look bad normally? <laughs> so you think I'm in a bad, I, you think I'm in a bad mood normally? <laughs> um, you know, I know you probably didn't mean it that way, but that is kind of how those things come across sometimes. Oh, stop crying about your dead family. It's fine. Um, yeah, Kelly, you look really tired. Oh, wait, you need to, um, write a scientific paper for work. Click on a computer and select write scientific paper. There we go. I'll do it. I'm gonna get paid. Come on. Uh-oh, the rat. Come clean its habitat. The twins became teens like 20 minutes ago or something. Like they became teens today. The twins aged up today. Um, wait, 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 wait. Your dear grandma said that's such a good picture of you. Too bad you don't normally look like this when she saw your dad's graduation picture. <laughs> oh my God, that is funny. That is a good one. <laughs> I can't believe the kind of things people just come out and say. <laughs> nah, it's a shame you don't normally look like that. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't mean it. They just, they just say it. And they really say anything, don't they? It's like kids, they just come out with it. They're not the nicest. <laughs> no filter. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you for finishing that and getting me paid. Now you can go to sleep. <laughs> and no one's gonna complain about it either, because you're not gonna yell at grandma, are you? Also, Aaron, hi, thank you for 11 months. Cleo with the 13 months. Um, oh yeah, little Tika, I bet you get that all the time. Um, he said, as a guy with long hair, wow, your hair is so good. Why don't you cut it? It's not nice to say. Yeah, why do they- why do they even bother being- Oh my god, your hair is so long, it's so beautiful! Why don't you cut it? <laughs> Come on! Oh, I bet you get that all the time. I bet you get that all the time. 
Um, I'm not gonna build today. No, Lucia, we're playing with the, the Legacy family today on purpose. Um, it's been a while since we got to play with the Legacy family because we've been so busy with, like, the Animal Crossing update and the charity event last week, so. Um, but yeah, I, people just, <laughs> how do you not hear yourself? It's so weird and, like, backhanded. <sighs> anyway. Today your grandma said, I'm really surprised you could even get that apartment. <laughs> Thanks, grandma. That's really nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cyril. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that people say stuff like that to you. Genuinely. And they think, they honestly believe they're, like, complimenting you as well. Like, do you hear yourself? You are horrible. <laughs> um... But, anyway, my grandparents aren't, aren't, they don't usually comment about how my, my hair or anything, at least to my face. <laughs> at least not to my, I don't think my grandma talks about me. I don't know. Um, yeah, to be fair, that's one of those things, sometimes that kind of like backhanded comment feels worse than just being like straight up mean, you know? Anyway, tell Grandma you're surprised she's lived this long. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> really, Fawn? I. Why does she do that? No, that's funny though. Okay, let me. Put up some decorations. I had the fall ones up. Get some Christmas lights. I want to hang up my Christmas lights. Do you think the neighbors would think I was weird if I hung them up early? Probably. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh no, Hope. That makes me sad. Um. Who cares what they think? That's true. <laughs> That's true. I decorated inside. So. I don't know any of my neighbors. I've literally not met any of them. The only one that I've met, um, really now that hasn't moved are the next door neighbors. And I've met them because they keep parking in my driveway, blocking me in. It's actually been like six months since the last happened, but... They keep blocking me in, and I've had to ask them to move their car three times because they park in my driveway. I don't have, like, a big driveway. I live in a townhouse with a one-car driveway. They have a two-car driveway. They have a two-car driveway. I have a one-car driveway. One car. There's not space behind it. The road is behind it. They literally park, like, behind me, half in the street, blocking me in sometimes. Deep breaths. Oh, she moved. Corderai, the, the woman who was trying, who yelled at me. <laughs> this woman, this one time, a couple years ago, um, she was like across the street. And I went out to go bring the trash cans up, like bring them back in. And she was also doing the same thing. And so she comes out and she saw me and she goes, I've been meaning to talk to you and comes running across the street, shaking her finger. She just wanted to introduce herself, but she went, I've been meaning to talk to you, and came running. <laughs> I thought she was going to yell at me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and all she was was like, hello. Um, but I thought she was going to yell at me. It seemed mean. Like the, I've been meaning to talk to you, felt mean. And then, and then she just wanted to say hi. But I thought she was mad at me. <laughs> so it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, well, me too. I thought she was going to neg say something negative too, but she didn't. But I feel like it's a reasonable assumption that she was going to do something, like, like, m mean, because of the, I've been meaning to talk to you. Um. <laughs> it's like an aggressive introduction, yeah. <laughs> David, thank you for the sub, and Emmy, thank you for the bits. Um. 
Oh, no. When you went blonde this summer, your great aunt said to your face, you're lucky your dad's white, otherwise blonde would have looked terrible on you. Why do people say stuff like that? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Well, at least your blonde hair doesn't look terrible, according to your very kind great aunt. That's just straight up mean. Um... They said for reference, their mom and great aunt are Japanese, and that's why they said that, but I can't, I, I, <laughs> I can't believe people come out with stuff like that. Do you not hear yourself? Well, you know, at least, at least your blonde looks nice. Okay, I need to, um, I need to get a grand meal. I'm gonna make the tofurkey for the holidays now, I think. Um, there's more than one kit supposed to come out in the season of selves. Yes, um, but we already have three of them. They said there's gonna be four kits, um, until the end of the year, like, until 2021, when they said that, um, the season of self goes until December. And we've already had three of the four, so we still have one kit to expect. Um, the third one came out, like, two days ago. Um, but we, we still have one more coming. I don't think we know what it is yet. Um, the website- what does the website say? Something about, like- Defying boundaries or something. I don't remember. Um, I know what it is. Horses? Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> they gotta stop threatening these kids. Oh, Emily, I'm so excited for you. You're gonna have so much fun. Um, boundary defying fashion or something. Defy style boundaries. There you go. That's what it was. Something like that. Um, something about defying style boundaries. I don't know what that's gonna mean, but we'll see. That's the next- the next kit, though. Um, defying boundaries! OMG, it's a fence kit! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so, Stellar. I think there was three fashion kits they teased. Um, but, I don't know, we'll see. Fingers crossed it'll be fun, but I don't know what to expect. Um, ready? Are you all gonna grab the snacks I have provided you, please? And thank you. Oh, should I offer some to- to my friend? Why did you drop that on the floor? Oh, that's not very friendly. Horses can defy style boundaries. Right! Right, Hope, yeah, it's horses. I know when I hear the tagline, defy style boundaries, my first thought is also definitely horses. So you're- you're probably right about that. I can't joke about- they're gonna think I'm serious. Um... <laughs> Marion, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that. And user lane, thank you for the nine month resub too. Um... It's just a horse girl pack, not horses- horses not included, it's just for horse girls. Right, 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 that makes more sense. Um... <laughs> you have to buy my first horse stuff to get the horses. So... Cottage Living, let's be real though, Cottage Living is a horse girl pack without the horses. Yeah, you're right, Hope. We already got that one. <laughs> That's Cottage Living. <laughs> That is the horse girl pack without the horses, for sure. GG, thank you for the sub- STOP HAUNTING THINGS! Bad. Only bad people haunt things. Did you pee your pants? Well, now that wasn't very smart. Look, she peed on her dad, now he's dripping. That's not- it was- it's because he drowned. His ghost drips. Because he drowned. But, I mean, I definitely didn't kill him. Definitely not. Not me. Was not me. <laughs> How can you play as a ghost sim? Um, you can add them to your household. If you, like, befriend them enough, you can invite them to live with you, but you can also just shift-click add them to your household if you want. Um, does he mean thank you for the 12 months? And Brittany, thank you for the 10 months, too. Um, yeah, he tripped into the pond is all. Right. Right. Okay, you counted as finishing that. Maybe I'll get some present. Stop evil laughing! 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to get some presents. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know I have a ghost. There's This is my ghost dog. This one was Winston. It was very ugly. This is the one that I got a hate comment for saying was ugly. Please, Kayla, please, Kayla. I thought you loved animals. So, this is the most beautiful dog I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> There's actually two. It was that one and the cat that I called ugly that was offensive. So, I apologize. I'll never do it again. <laughs> I love ugly animals in The Sims. I really enjoy having ugly pets in The Sims. It makes me so happy. Truly, it makes me so happy. I cannot even begin to express how fun it is to pick the ugliest pet from the adoption thing. Um, GoFundMe changed their name to Taylor's version and tweeted they're now a Taylor Swift stan account and you can't stop laughing. You know, some of these brands are getting good at, um, this kind of thing. Poppy got a Wicker Whims candle bowl. That's Wicker Whims, not Wicked Whims. Don't look up Wicked Whims. Mega couple of books. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, by the way. Wicked Whims is a, um, it's a sex mod. And some of the furniture from, um, Laundry Day is called Wicker Whims as a joke in reference to it. But don't, I'm not kidding, don't look it up. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> um, this is, this is, uh, 18 plus. <laughs> Jazz cats, whiskers of a forgotten past. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Um, oh, I got some gardening tools. That's a fun present. And I got some jazz cats. Maybe I'll put that somewhere. Where? Oh, I'll put the jazz cats in my library. And maybe I'll put... I already have the candle in the library. Um, <laughs> I repeat, I already have the candle in the library. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I never used this candle. Um, I probably got given it for Christmas last year, and that's why I put it in there. Um, but... Interesting. <laughs> Great fun. How are we all doing? Have we had a good day? Did you have a good winter fest? Yep, it's achieved. Okay. So, maybe you could do some homework on this. Oh, never mind. You already did your homework on this fine holiday. Did you? No, you didn't get to work. When did the basement come in the library? Well, the basement was previously a gym, but then the Sim that needed the gym for her career died. So of old age, but I only had the gym down there cause I needed it for my Sim so she could work out for work. But then, then she died. So I didn't need it anymore. Um, no, she died of old age. I didn't kill the air. It was old age. You were there. Vouch for me. You know. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's Dan yelling. Sorry. It, it, I live with a Dead by Daylight streamer. So. Right, Brittany. Lolly, thank you for the subs, everybody. Thank you so much. Um. Okay, anyway. Cow plant has milk? Yeah, I know. I've been avoiding milking it, but I probably should come. No, we haven't decided on the next heir. I think right now, a lot of us really like uh, Poppy. We're kind of leaning towards Poppy, but um, we're gonna wait and see when they age up into young adults what their last trait is because we randomize their traits. So we'll we'll base it probably like once, as soon as they age up into young adults, we'll do a poll to pick the heir. They just became teens today. So they're, um, this week they'll age up. Maybe even like tomorrow on stream. I don't know, but um, yeah, this brick floor in the greenhouse is base game. Yeah. Um, and Dio, thank you for the 18 months too. Um, okay. Did you, do you want to feed the sharks quickly? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. Wait. Oh. 
Will I at notice when it's time to pick the- She fell in. I was trying to feed it. Um, I got an achievement for Polar Bear Club, though. So, I'm not gonna kill her. It's a bit stormy outside. <laughs> um, okay. I think I might, um... I don't know. Do you want to take a shower? Your needs are not so good. You're miserable. Why? What's dirty? Dunno. You're fine. Um, she's done her duty, had her kids, why can't she die? Oh my god! <laughs> she served the only purpose a woman has in life. Get rid of her! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I know they're kidding, by the way, but... <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> Come on, who's here? Oh, it's Eugene! Come on in, Eugene! Eugene was my dead brother, but I brought him back to life. So... This doesn't bode well for me. Oh no, Christine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I get in the mailbox? Anything fun? Seed packet? Boring. Okay, Santa. I'm here to get presents. Ramirez, thank you for the two months too. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. I'll be asking you for a present now, and thank you. Are you ready? what I get? A grill? You gave a 16-year-old a grill for Christmas? I think I got that in the mail. Is it in my inventory? Are you serious? What makes you think she wants that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. It's a nice one though. Okay. Um, are you done? Are you done? Did I kill the previous? Mm, I, I don't know how many kids are here. No, I did not. Santa just... Now he's in my front yard. Does that make sense? <laughs> you need to watch out. Sometimes people watch the streams with their toddlers. You never know. At least Mary's not here right now. <laughs> okay. Motion monitor gaming mat? Oh boy! Forget the library! I wanna be a gamer! Okay, that's good. Well, at least have Holly talk to him while you're here. I never buy those things. It's kind of fun to get given one. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to introduce myself and ask for a gift. Speak to me! I want a present! Ask for present. He knows what happens when you don't give a good present. Yeah, he needs to watch out. Crystal clear digital camera? Hey! Okay. I'm gonna come um, introduce myself. Last one, sorry. <laughs> Belle and Kimmy, thank you for the subs too. Um, I want to be a gamer, said a gamer. Well, I just want my sims to have fun. Did you get eaten again? Let's well, stop! He's gonna die! All in one powerful PC? Oh, boy. 
That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh yeah, Crystal Clear! My sister-in-law's name is Crystal Clear. Eugene's, um, you, oh, Eugene just left, I think, but Eugene's wife, he had a ghost girlfriend for a while, because Eugene was also dead, um, and his wife, her name was Crystal, but I changed her last name to Clear. Basically, I wished for love on a wishing well, and then it gave me a ghost girlfriend, and then I brought them both back to life. It was a whole thing. I, I had to make ambrosia. It took forever, but her name's Crystal Clear. And the camera is called the Crystal Clear Digital Camera! I didn't know that Crystal ran a camera company. That's impressive. Yeah, honestly, Daddy Winter said we were extra good this year. He gave us loads of presents. <laughs> My favorite thing is listening to you have to explain your nonsense storylines. I think it makes perfect sense, but whatever. <laughs> the wishing well killed your child, son? <gasps> The wishing well killed your child? Oh no! Wait, how? How? What happened? That's not good. Oh no! He wished for a long life and then the well killed him? <laughs> Did it like straight turn him into a ghost? Or, or did it, like, kill him and then you added him as a ghost to your household? Oh, no! Okay, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. This game's too far. <laughs> I'll be lying. Thank you for the, for the prime step. Oh, he got turned into a ghost. Okay, okay, okay. So, the, you, he wished for a long life and the one was like, okay, you can be immortal as a ghost. Yeah, kids can die in The Sims a couple ways. Um, kids can, like, freeze to death. Kids can die in a fire. Kids can drown. Um, they can die a couple ways in The Sims. They may be able to die of the puffer fish. Uh, I don't know. But they can't, they can't, um, die a lot of the other adult ways. And evidently they can get turned into a ghost from the wishing well. <laughs> so... Oh well. <laughs> he'll he'll be young forever. They can die from a fish. Okay, I figured. The kids may be able to die from the rabid rodent fever too. I don't think your kid will starve to death. I think that they'll get taken away before then. Um I think I think that like social services in the Sims will stop that from happening before it happens in your game. Um Oh my god, Shan, how many is that? <laughs> Oh my god! Shan just redeemed so many absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> just two? Right, 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 right. Right. Is the greenhouse new? No, no, I, I just built this on my house. I, I added that to the house. I thought it looked cool. I did this before we even knew we were getting the Blooming Onion kit. So, oh, here we, here they come. Here they come. Cece, thank you for the eight months. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, oh no, the whole chat. <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's more, there's more of them. There's nothing else in chat, it's only absolutely nothing. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. I want to play. I can do it too. I have I have infinite points. So I don't mean to brag, but <laughs> it's still going. There's nothing else in the chat. <laughs> it's so scary, please. Okay, I'm going to take care of my plants really quick. Um you could probably super sell them. And then water everything, and then this one needs to get sprayed for bugs. I'm afraid. All right, let's do it. Oh, this one needs weeded. What do I need to do for work? Collect a plant microscope sample. Oh, okay. I'll do that. I need to get level four of the logic skill too. 
Ooh. Who's calling and why? Who's calling and why? Hack attack? Oh, they are both hackers! We wanted them to be hackers! Okay. Radiant Capricorn, thank you for the subs. This is- this is absurd. The amount of them in the chat still. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have replacement chess. Um, we, we only have to be at home by ourselves today, so we may as well. It kind of works out. She was just naked. She came out here naked. It's snowing. That does not seem like a good idea. Now listen, I live in Florida. I don't know much about what the snow's like, but I assume that you don't want to be going out there naked. My goodness. <laughs> Won't catch me wasting my hard-earned points. Listen, I respect it. Wasting points, saving points, all good solutions. <laughs> okay. You have 288k. I have infinite points, so I'm better than you, but nice try. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm taking down the Christmas decorations. Um, okay. I think today, maybe I'll go see somebody. Maybe I'll, like, should I go, maybe I'll invite over Eugene? My dead brother who's back to life or something? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Come on. I'm ready. I finished my skill. I just want to hang out with my brother now. Rose swiped an object at school. Oh. Thieves. Give family advice. I don't know. Oh, they got their grades up. Wait, lifestyle gained. Holly has unlocked the single and loving it lifestyle. Here's Dan saying, get away from me, Slimo. It's, did I never have them start dating again after Patrick died? Oh my god, they never, so after Patrick died, I didn't have them get back together? I just put him back in the household? So she said she's single and loving it? She lives with the father of her children and has forever. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I made a big mistake, everybody. <laughs> uh oh, okay. Um, wow. Well, that's not really how I intended for this to go. Capricorn, thank you for the bits. Also, Brianna, thank you for the eight months. Um, when you're single, but married, but widowed, but still together, but single. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Yeah, and now if they get together, she's gonna be mad about it, because she's got the single and loving it lifestyle. This, honestly, you can't get more it's complicated than this, really. Oh no. Capricorn, you're a Leo? But then what do you do? <laughs> Life coach? Oh no, I'd rather her suffer. Also, yeah, Poppy is mortified. That's not good. But yeah, I'd rather her suffer than- She's mortified because she's a teen. They have mood swings. Stop looking at me from having a mood swing. Sometimes it just feels like you can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Caitlin, mystery, thank you for the subs, both of you. That sounds about right. Yeah, also mortified because she found out her parents aren't even No, she's mortified because she learned her mom is single and loving it, even though her mom has been with her dad for like 15 years. <laughs> um, but, you know, can teens die with this? You know, I've never had a Sim die as a teen. When they're mortified, the only time I've had that happen when they died is when they aged up. 
Um, like, so they, if I were to age her up right now and she was still mortified, I've had Sims die like that. That happened to her mom. That's why Holly is Holly 4.1. She's Holly 4 because she's the fourth in a long line of Hollies. I've had loads of Sims named Hollies. Sims named Holly. But she's Holly 4.1 because she died when she aged up into a young adult. She, same thing, was mortified from school, like, as a teen. And then I aged her up into a young adult, and then she died of embarrassment like that right away. And so I had her mom plead for her with the Grim Reaper, and then she came back to life. Yeah, but she aged up and then instantly died. <laughs> and then, she, dead on the floor, I, I pleaded with the Grim Reaper, and then he said that she could come back, so... It was really a lot. <laughs> it was really a lot. Yeah, I could have her calmed down in the mirror, but it would also be funny if she died, so I might just let it happen and see. Is that wrong? Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> Laser Shark, thank you for the 17 months, and Tegan with a sub gift to Declan. Oh, with the, that's Declan's 44 months, and Caitlin with the 12 months. Thanks, everybody. Um, thank you, everybody. Anyway, I'm a Leo. Are you? There's a poll. Help, my chat is frozen. I can't, my whole, oh no, my Twitch dashboard is frozen. I can't see anything. Oh no, I'm refreshing. Wait. Is it back? Is it back? Okay, it's back. <laughs> that was scary. That was really scary. I didn't like it. Um, okay. I can see you again. <laughs> I couldn't even click on anything. I had to refresh to fix it. Um, all right. Anyway, I hope you all had a good, um, a good day. <laughs> a little bit of scare there, but we're fine. It's back. <laughs> um, Annie, so we used to have more rewards for points. Um, we've sort of um, gotten less rewards for points as the, the years have progressed. I mean, there hasn't always been points. They haven't been out for that long. But we realized that it was a little bit much to keep up with for the mods and for myself as far as point rewards go. Like, even on some busy days, the point rewards that we do have are too much to keep up with. Um, so I, I don't know if we would add more um, unless they were, like, really simple or silly ones, because, um, they're, like, they're kind of hard to keep up with on big, on big streams, so. One million point reward to end stream. Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, that would be funny, to be fair. <laughs> Here, do you want to scavenge for parts in this? Spade, thank you for the seven months! Um, I don't know if anyone has a million points yet. I don't know if it's possible to have a million points yet. Um, like, I don't think it's physically possible with how much I've streamed since point rewards came out. Um, but you're at 400k. You have 1 million points? Do you really? Yeah, Christine- oh wait, Christine has like 700k. Oh, so it's probably possible. Do you know what? It might be possible. We don't do predictions though. It would be way possible with predictions, but I don't know, um... You're at 677k, oh my goodness. Someone in your chat has 1.3 mil. I wish I could see like a leaderboard. I would love to see a leaderboard of who has the most points. That would be so fun. Um... You have, really, you have a million? I didn't know anyone passed a million. That's so cool. Oh no, well now we can't make the reward because Alice is gonna make me end my stream. <laughs> Alice is gonna spend their points and make me end my stream. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. But why would someone wanna end the Simpsons stream? To be fair, if I actually did it, if I like for real, if you spend a million points to end the stream, then I just for real was like, okay, off. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> um, I think that would be funny. You have to end the stream, but you don't have to not restart it. That's true. I could end it for like five minutes and then come back. That would be hilarious. Can you just picture the chat chaos? <laughs> and then my Twitter would get verified because it maybe would be a popular tweet. Yeah. Imagine it just spawns.
sponsored stream. Oh no, could you imagine? <laughs> Sorry, Snyder's pretzels. End stream. <laughs> I'm like on the front page. End stream. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Sponsors like <w> hello? <laughs> Uh-oh. That would be funny. A mess. It would be chaos. <laughs> uh Naomi, Loon, and Diaz, thank you for the subs. Che as well with the 12 months. Thanks everyone. Um How did the ghost man die? Oh, I drowned him. Hence all the puddles he's stripping. <sighs> so Anyway, <laughs> wait, that's not your bed. Wrong sim. You need to go up here. <laughs> so mean, please redeem it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay. <laughs> Suggesting a breach of contract. Now hang on, little Dika, just one second. <laughs> Some of us have Twitch contracts. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, I have the Ambrosia Diaz. Um, this is not my dead brother. This is my dead husband. I brought my dead brother back to life. My dead husband, I have not brought back to life. Actually, they aren't even married. We learned recently that they aren't even dating anymore. They were, and then when he died, it went away. And then she just got the single and loving it lifestyle, which is how I found out they weren't actually together. I was aware, or not, I was not aware that they were not technically together. Because I thought that they were together this whole time, but apparently they, they're, they never made it official. They're just talking. <laughs> they, they've got two kids together um, that are like almost 18 years old, but they're just talking. <laughs> and they have been for the last like 20 years. Um, <laughs> they have a thing, so. Nothing serious, it's just a casual relationship. <laughs> They've been living together for 20 years, but they're, you know. <laughs> oh boy, who has the blue bedroom? Oh, that was my dead brother's room, but now he's back to life and lives with his wife and stuff, so. <laughs> uh, Sinead, thank you for the bits, by the way. I hope you feel better, I'm sorry. Um, I think that they were only engaged. I think that's why they're not technically together anymore is because they were only engaged. So when they died, um, it, when, or when he died, it ended their relationship. Um, so, oh, the family tree is a lot. Look, let me, let me go up and I'll show you. This is the family tree starting with the air all the way down. And I've played them all on stream. We're on Gen 8. These Sims are Gen 8. The teens. Isn't that fun? Does death cancel marriage too? It does, doesn't it? That's tough. <laughs> That's really tough. Okay, I might um, just replace this. It's not that expensive. I, yeah, I suppose that being dead would put a strain on your relationship. Yeah, I, I can see how that would be difficult. No! Carrie's running away? Oh, man. This sucks. Okay, maybe you should, like, post an alert about your missing pet. Well, at least Carrie's not dead. Because Carrie's an elder and is probably going to die, like, tomorrow. I bet Carrie will come home and then die. Because my other cat died of old age earlier today, so things are not looking good for Carrie. The, I got him on the same day. So, we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> no, I don't think she can die while she's gone. I don't think that's possible. But, ah, fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll see. Give her up, get another pet? No! We have to wait until she dies. I need her grave so I can put it in the front yard. So. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, Bridget, it's the same around here. It's the same around here. Nothing has changed. 
Kayla, you can't just wait for a cat to die. I can if I want to. You ever thought about that? <laughs> yeah, I keep my graveyard in the front. I need to intimidate the neighbors, you know? I can't have them acting up. So. <gasps> no! No! No, 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 no! Not the third one! <laughs> I just heard Dan say, is that how loud I am always? No way, Kathleen! There's three of them that are dead. Oh, this is horrible. Why do I keep doing this? Look. One. Oh, this one's dead too. It's glitched though. You'll see. Oh! Oh! Well, ah! <laughs> two, that one's supposed to be dead. Three. <laughs> the, the cow plants are kind of glitchy. Um. Oh my god, it's back to life. <laughs> I fixed it. Oh, I can't feed it. It was glitched. I can't. Well, you get it. They heard me on Dan's stream. Oh, I know they did. I heard him say he could hear me. But it's about time that we get him back, because we hear him all day, every day on our stream, so. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. He deserves it. Well, now I have three dead cow plants. That's really exciting. I can hear you screaming on my stream. Ha ha ha, Keck W. Okay, Daniel? Welcome to my world. My cow plant died. It was justified. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, read the room, Daniel. It's too soon to laugh at us. Yeah, well, three of them are dead, but one of them is alive somehow. It's really all very confusing. That's nice quality. Okay. Do you want to go sell everything? Maybe spray the area for some bugs? Sure. We're making some pretty good money. RJ, Bestie, I don't know how many more times I can tell you. You asked for a name suggestion like an hour ago, and I said Gladys. <laughs> Maybe they keep asking because they're hoping that I'll not remember and give them a new name. But the name you're getting is Gladys. So. Shells is upset I didn't see her message. Where, in chat? I'm sorry, my chat's just so busy. Um, but the name I suggest is Gladys. And I'm not picking a new one. That's the one. Aren't you Gladys? She didn't say banana, haha. -ha. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got a lot of money now, so that's nice. What do I need to do for work? What? <laughs> I need to, what? Be eaten by a cow plant as my work from home task? No, 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 I'm sorry. First of all, my cow plant died literally seconds ago. <laughs> and now you want me to get. Mm. This game is unbearable. <laughs> Salt in the wound, truly. I can't. Also, you want me to be eaten by a cow plant? Seems a bit hazardous, don't you think? 
Yeah, there better be hazard pay. I mean, I'll do it. Hang on, I'm going to the park. I'm gonna get a cow plant. We'll find out how much money I get from it in a second. It will kill her, right? I don't think so. Oh, she's that. She's been eaten by a cow plant once. Yeah, I go to I go and feed my sharks, and I'm like, yeah, wow, being eaten by a cow plant seems a bit hazardous. <laughs> Immediately, no. <laughs> Immediately, no. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get a cow plant off the gallery, and I'm gonna have her eat it. What if she dies? Oh, that would be really funny. So. I'm gonna do it. Um, okay, rooms, please. No, I need a hungry cow plant. Hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry cow plant. Oh, that's EA account ID. <laughs> okay, hungry cow plant. I think that she has to get eaten twice, like, soon together. It's been a while since she got eaten, so I don't think she's gonna die. And for the record, I did not have her eat the cow plant the first time. That was the game's fault. Um, she did it autonomously and so did her ghost husband, so. All right, I'm doing it for work. Be eaten by a cow plant is the task. And I will sell my soul to this company. <laughs> Yay, it spit me out! I'm not dead! See? Yeah, but she doesn't have the moodlet from last time, so she's fine. She, she's not gonna die. Don't worry. Yucky. That was great fun. I really enjoyed it. I got 560 simoleons. That's the price of my life, according to my employer. 560 simoleons. Do it again? The cow plant's not hungry. What is wrong with you people? I'm not gonna kill her. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> so loyal to my workplace for 560 simoleons. So. <laughs> you do a lot for 500 would you would you get eaten by a cow plant for 500 bucks 560 bucks i should say but to be fair keep in mind sims currency is way off that's gonna get you like 10 rolls of toilet paper so in u.s dollars 560 simoleons is probably a lot less. So. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go and get... But also, like, 50 windows. Right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Right, right, right. Also, Anonymous, thank you for the sub gift, by the way. Um... Very interesting. We need a dollar to simoleon converter. Honestly, that's what I need to hear about. Anyway, I think, um, I might end the stream before anyone drops dead. <laughs> I, might, I might end the stream here. Mostly, I'm gonna be honest, it's because of the cat. I'm worried the cat's gonna come home and die. I don't want to have both cats die today. I'm not cut out for that emotionally. We're gonna play again tomorrow. Um, so, <laughs> we, the cat can die tomorrow. If you missed it, my cat is missing, but is an elder. And, um, I got two cats at the same time, um, a while ago in game. And now they're both elders and the other one died today. So this one that I got at the same time, the clock is ticking as you can see. So, tomorrow should be interesting, but same time tomorrow we'll be live. Um, I'm sorry to, to run, but I want to go eat dinner, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to get off stream. <laughs> According to Google, one simoleon is worth $150. No. 
No, I don't think so. Google is wrong. Oops, I don't want you to see who I'm going to find to raid. <laughs> uh, I don't think that checks out, Google. That um, seems like a lie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one, to be honest with you. I'm not sure that it's adding up. Okay. Well, I want to go raid my famous friend, Mivyard, um, who's recently gone viral on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash Mivyard. Um, Miv, <laughs> Miv is, um, Miv's playing, uh, well, it says Miv is playing Animal Crossing, but I'm not really sure what's going on. Also, hi, Marissa. Thank you for the 50-month resub, by the way. Um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Raid Mivyard. Um, <laughs> the joke is that Miv earlier was calling herself famous on Twitter. That's the meme. So now I'm gonna go raid her. Um, but <laughs> say hi for me. Um, I will, of course, catch you all tomorrow on stream. We'll play some more Sims. Thank you, Marissa, for the 50-month resub. Wait, Hope said wait. Wait for what? Wait. Wait. Wait? No, never mind. Okay. So what? What hope? Wait, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. She's left. Oh, she's back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we'll go find out. <laughs> Scary.